So, yeah, the the last time we, sort of the last ending moment of the session was that, because um, you guys had to hike kind of out here, just kind of off the beaten trail a little bit to get here. It's kind of um, up like a, not a mountainous path, but sort of a, a cliffy path and into a little forest thicket. And off in the distance, as that sort of image of Gorlam flashed through your guys' minds, uh, there was a large, like, crash off in the distance, and you heard, like, faint screams as you guys are, you know, hundreds of feet away. Um, so, and you guys quickly moved into action, essentially, like, sprinting back there is what you guys decided. So, what I need from all of you is to make a uh, constitution, just check, not save and throw, just give me a constitution check. Uh, and I had to revert to old uh, character sheet module just until it's updated for 5th edition, but if you need some guidance, I can help you point in the right direction. Huh. Uh, one thing, Drew, is that uh, yep. my sort of um, my sort of shortcuts for all the things to mm -hmm. click for the dice, like uh, you know, like my name, inventory, spells, features, and all that, yep. uh, it's on the right side now, and I can't it's like over the the chat log. Oh, oh, so click and hold and drag it wherever you want, like over the word inventory or spells. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Easy peasy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that little token HUD you can just click and drag anywhere. So you can probably put on the bottom maybe or something like that. Yeah. All right, I got it. Okay. Uh, is there a way to make my character sheets smaller so I can click on things? Yeah, so you can click. There should be like an arrow, like a draggable arrow in the bottom right of your sheet that allows you to resize the window. I um, cannot get to the bottom right of it. Okay, hit uh, F11 to full screen, and then maybe that'll give you a bit more. I see. Here we go. Yeah. I click it or do I drag it? Uh, you can drag the arrow to resize it, and then you can drag the header anywhere you want on your screen to uh, change that as well. Like Seems like space. I could not make it smaller. I will not allow it. Can make it uh, bigger, though. Uh, what am I doing? Constitution yep. check. Yep, should just be able to click the word Constitution, then do Ability check. Beautiful. 20. Okay. I will get one going for scales, crane, and all them folks. Oh, that's safe. Jesus Christ. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, I won't change. Okay, not bad. Uh, all right, so yeah, you guys sprint back towards uh, the light well. And uh, is there anything um, on your way that you want to do to potentially uh, help your the other members of your party kind of get there a bit quicker? Um, whether it's, you know, pointing out roots in the ground or something, or um, is somebody you specifically want to stay in behind to sort of be that sort of pack wolf leader and make sure nobody falls behind, you know, stuff like that. Um, I can be pack wolf leader. I love that pack wolf strength. leader. I would uh, like to, as we're running before mm -hmm. Reinhold gets too far away, I would like to use my freedom of movement spell scroll on him. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm staying behind to make oh. sure nobody else falls behind. Okay. Uh, I can go in front with my speed and maybe try to maybe cut through an area or kind of just scout, I guess, for a moment. Like, say, like, hey, bank left, stuff like that. Yep. And okay. I'll use the survival to point out terrain. Yeah, yeah, anything that might be, like, uh, you know, like I said, roots in the ground or... Um, or maybe you know, a sand pit trap or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Understood. Yeah, because this is all kind of, you know, rough terrain. It's not like a paved uh, road or anything like that. Or... Okay. Today's word was spire, by the way. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, spire. Okay, cool. Yeah, that definitely helps aid. It wasn't a terribly difficult DC, but with you guys moving as fast as you are, uh, definitely definitely helps. Uh, I will give scales, and I don't know how this would work for him, uh, but let's see. Nope, oh, he's immune to being exhausted, so he's actually pretty cool. Uh, and the rest of you mm. are fine, because the DC was 12, so it ain't no thing. Uh, cool. So... When you guys get back to the grounds of the light well, uh, this is what you're greeted with. There is a large uh, 
call it chunk of rubble that is now sort of above all of the tents that were right there. Oh. And I guess, uh, yeah, I guess the, the Kefazath sisters and Phoenix were able to pull the body sort of out of the rubble so you could identify them. Uh, but this is the reality of the situation as it as it stands. That's fucked, Drew. <laughs> That's fucked. I mean, they were... No, I, I know, man, yeah. but... <laughs> they were Damn. resting up there. Uh, as you see to the east of you guys... Um, also, E, are you in this scene yet? Uh, maybe he's dead. Oh, he dead. Internet. Eh, yeah. Happens. Oh, my my computer crashed. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I was wondering why he was on the other scene. Um, so to the the east of you guys, uh, you see uh the knightly figure of Sir Ryan. That that would be uh, Reinhold's uh, mentor, Timmy. He is right uh there. Uh, and you see the sort of uh trading NPCs. Uh, sort of looking on from afar, and you see specifically uh, Kovats, the uh, clerical feller. Um, he's sort of talking to a group that was outside the eastern portion of the wall, sort of trying to keep them calm and making sure they're out of like the range of any uh, <laughs> architecture that might suddenly fall. Uh, and Phoenix will come over to the group, uh, and he'll say, uh, it was another rumbling beneath us. Uh, didn't take much time before we heard part of the tower start to collapse again. Just probably a good ton of rubble fell over all the uh, worker tents. Uh, and you see the sisters will sort of move away as well to give a bit more space. All right. Um... to kill Kos uh, the, the turtle will come up to you guys and say uh, we might be in a bit of a different situation than before I am easing my grip on the keys I have to this place Uh, fair enough. If we happen to find them, we will make sure to return them in due time. I'll give Kos a hug. Give me an insight check. Okay. Okay. Uh, it seemed for all the bullshitting that he was throwing at his fellow uh, compatriots that were uh, sort of working here in some conscripted way, uh, he, he, he cared a quite quite a big deal for them. And he seems to be uh, somewhat hiding his mournfulness at the moment. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> us, us scaly folk are similar. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's like, I mean, um, among all the the chaos, I mean, the, the worst thing you could do aside from that is betray someone you love. I mean, I know Vazura would never do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Grilled and roasted. You're getting rolled <laughs> up and smoked right now. Um, Cooking them, dude. He's like, hey, Vazura, I actually, uh, I'm friends with uh, the leader from your tribe, uh. He's like, how is uh, old old Claw doing? <laughs> I love Ray Claw. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's that good shit. Um, so yeah, he he has the keys to the light well on a ring. Um, in the, you can see them sort of at his side on his belt, and he's just sort of clutching them with with one hand and making sure they're secure, and. 
he he says to you guys, he says, uh, uh, if I let you in there, I, I can't be responsible for what happens, but I see that you are a, a, a mighty force, and uh, I respect that you want to help, even if it's for reasons I might not uh, understand or, or have the thought of mind to uh, observe. By the way, all I can think of when I'm talking about him is Benoit Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah. uh, but I, I, I want to assure you that I, I am grateful for you being here. I, I don't mean any. Uh, I don't mean to get anything misconstrued. There are many a passage in this tower. You will find three floors above ground and two floors below. This place was built on a, a swath of arcane uh, power. I'll have you know it's uh, it's been some time since we've been in there, so I don't know what might be lurking around. But there's always been a bump in the night, so to speak. Any items you find within, feel free to use as you please, but just know your life is always going to be more valuable than them. We ain't going to go in there chasing after you. Oh, I understand. <clears throat> He uh he holds the the key ring out to you guys. Well, I guess I'm in front of him, so I'll grab it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. I'll grab it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you feel the Zuru's tail wrapped around your leg and pull you back. Um, Please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir. I have some keys. Um, okay. Uh, you guys are somewhat uh, spent as far as it comes to some spells. Um, I know Embers used uh, from her sheet. It looks like you've used a third level, which I think was a fireball and a uh, use of your blight spell, which is fourth level. Uh, Reinhold, you've used... Uh, actually, I think you're up on spells. If you yep. broke, I'm up. Uh, Vizur, I think <laughs> you've first, used one four. Second, one third left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... From the Kephazath sisters, probably Colette in a uh, specific, specific manner, um, she will give you guys two potions. So, Vizur, I just gave you a uh, potion of mana, I believe, um, which effectively func functions like arcane recovery for wizards. So, you can get four spell slots back. Uh, well, aggregate, like total of four. So, you could use it for a third and a first. You could use it for two seconds. Um, oh, and that's really neat. Yeah. Um, one of my starting items that I took that I literally have never used. Yeah, tell I me. do have a pearl of power really? in my inventory that I've yeah. never used. I will use that today to recover a third level spell slot. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, so you can mainly just give you yourself that uh, third yeah. level back. And then just how many. Right. And how many total levels are you down for other spells? Um, I'm down two second level spells, so I guess I can down that potion. Yeah, just just go back. ahead and delete that potion and get both your uh, second level spells. Sounds good back. to me. Um, and then she'll hand it to I think because yeah, Reinhold, you're good. Crane's really only missing a first level spell, so uh, Crane isn't too worried. And then uh. Embra, you're down, uh, let's see, a third and a fourth. Uh, so you can either, what, spend sorcery points to get spell slots back? Um, or I'm going to give you a potion regardless for a rainy day. Um, cool. On top of the lesser potion of, of mana you already had. Uh, so we're looking good there. Um, so feel free to use them at your at your leisure, and it can also be used like as an action in combat as like a regular potion drink. Um, 
So how this is going to work, just because I don't want to control three more characters in the sort of dungeon crawl that is this tower, um, you can effectively use their resources as you wish. Um, for example, like Jeleneth has like a healing potion that you can use, um, and you can request that at any time. Think of... Uh, think of this as like they're sort of the town square of resources like in Diablo or something that you can come back out of the tower and use like hey Colette can you use a third level you know cure wounds on me you know stuff like that um hey Phoenix can you give me that potion of uh hill giant strength or whatever um so just stuff like that um just their helper AI their helper AI I don't want to uh give the uh potential encounters a sort of offset uh difficulty Right, and then it'd be silly if you know, they start wrecking yeah. everything and we're not doing nothing. Yeah. Same with Coast as well. He is willing to cast his spells. You know, he's got... Um, oh, let's see. He's got... Uh, well, for you guys, it would be more his bardic inspiration. Uh, and uh, what's the other thing? His, like, chef uh, special treats to give you guys some, some snacks here and there. I will heal you. Uh, does that sort of make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you guys are ready to enter, um, this little yellow uh, door icon, I'll, I'll go ahead and zoom in on it. Uh, this little yellow door icon, when your character steps on that, they will be transported into the tower. Um, when you get inside, because this is a multi-level sort of experience thing, um, as I'm recording this, I can only show you know the viewers at home one level at a time. So try and not spread out too much as far as like getting to other levels. Um, I'll say anything marked with like a red ladder indicates that it's going down a level, and then anything marked with like a green stair icon when your character steps over, uh, on it, it will go up a level. Ooh. Um, so I'll show you that once you guys get in there. But any other questions before you guys sort of delve in? Yes. Go for it. I would like to ask Kos. Mm -hmm. Kos? Uh, Kos, yeah. Kos. I would like to ask Kos um, if it would be all right if I took Ribbles' mechanical I knew weapon. it. I knew it. That was the first thing on his mind. Uh, let me... Uh, let me think about that as he looks over towards, like, the... Uh, I mean, they'd probably be, like, over here now, like, assembled yeah. corpses. I, uh, I mean, no disrespect. It's just, I've never seen anything like it. No, I, I, I understand. I, I, I know you'd get the most mileage out of anybody. Yeah, just let me, let me think about it. Uh, okay. Yep, we're looking good. All right, any other questions? That's it. Okay. All right, when you guys are ready, I'm going to drag you a bit. Uh, yep, perfect. It still says game paused for me. Oh, there you go. All righty. I'll drag uh, Crane over there. And... Uh, Oh, there okay. we go. What are we doing? All We're right. gonna. All right, Reinhold. Um, same uh... again. Oh, okay. Are we leaving Scales behind? No, Scales will be. Uh, I can get him later. Sorry, it's just been lagging a little bit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely not allowed. <laughs> Frodo lagging. Oh, I love okay. That. Okay, so Crane steps forward and disappears. Oh, God. Uh, yep. All right. Oh, this place is nice looking. All I see is black. Probably because it's still be loading. loading. There it is. There you go. I'm going to move you just away from the door. Uh, once you get inside, just kind of uh, reserve yourself to this room here. Yeah, yeah, of course. And it looks like the Emperor's getting there. There we go. Love that. And I'll go ahead and activate this scene. Beautiful. Scales, come here, boy. <laughs> you want, here, I can drop him in there. There you go. 
so yeah, you guys enter this um, sort of a lot of the the rubble that you see on the that you've seen on the outside is not what yep. is on the case uh, once you get inside the the perimeter wall. Um, while you guys are in here, you notice it's quite a bit chillier than outside. Um, it was a nice sort of balmy day, maybe a good 50, 60 degrees outside. And in here, it's like 15, 20 degrees colder. So you guys are fighting off a bit of a chill. Um, and uh, regardless, though, there is, you know, light sources. And you see there is a, uh, you know, a fireplace at the end of the hall here. And um, the the last thing Coast says to you guys before you enter, as he sort of yells it as you guys are going through the door, is just, uh, he says, Many paths, friends, many paths. Be careful. Uh, effectively, be on the lookout and, and watch your back. Thank you, friend. All right. And the door sort of creaks shut. Well, this is a nice room. Uh, I feel like this might be one of the nicer ones we're going to encounter, depending on what we find in the lower levels. Mm. <sighs> Good point. To rest up later. I mean, there looks like some comfy chairs over there. They do, indeed. So obviously there are so many ways up this tower, but I imagine our quarry's going to be down. Should we even? I guess. Oh, oh. sorry. I'm being transported into other rooms. No, you're good. Oh no, God. The homie so... just. Give me... in the void. <laughs> so, Riven, give me a... Uh, here, I'll, I'll get you out of there, Reinhold. Thank you. You're okay, buddy. Riven, uh, give me a, a uh, dexterity save. Oh, cool. The unending void. Mm -hmm. Love that for me. 14? <laughs> 14? Okay. Uh, if you so choose, you can catch this door as when you unlatch it from its, like, hint or its uh, whatever the fuck a doorknob settles into. Uh... You can choose to close it as the door sort of whips open as soon as it's unlatched. Uh, yeah, I'll sort of okay. give a small, like, kick in a shoulder so you, to get yep. back. So you go boop, and then uh, I'm just going to lock it until you're ready to open it again. Okay, so maybe not that door, huh? <clears throat> uh, but you now see this sort of weird black cloud oozing out from under the door uh, and sort of kind of caking the ground around you in this sort of almost spectral dust. So, I'm sure you only saw it for a sheer moment, like I did, but, uh, any telling what that was? Um, you know, I'll get back to you on that. I have to think about what I just saw. I agree. <laughs> it was very misty and hard to see. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's little door sounds when you open stuff now. I did, they did notice that. Yeah, it's cool, right? <laughs> okay, well, chill out. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it once. Um, so, Reinhold, when you open the door, um, you see a handful of rations uh, on this table here. Ooh. Well, he's in the void again. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, Embra, you can see the tokens through the walls with your tremor sense. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> it's very, it is interesting and weird to uh, do. I wish I could turn it on to only be affected in combat, and that's, that's actually something I'm going to look at in the future. No, but, it's okay. I get lost sometimes, so it'll help me find where the group That's fair. Are. That's fair. You see any fiends down there, Ember? You know, I don't. Okay. Unfortunately, it seems like the dark swirling void room is our next step. I'm sure we'll be fine. The black cloud that's hanging out under the door is probably just uh, charcoal perfume. There we go. Ooh, I, is that a thing among fire genasi? No. I see. That's racist. It, is that racist? Charcoal. Fire. Oh. You're just mean. No! Anyway. <laughs> Crane just doesn't want to hang out with us. I see. Crane's just looking around, getting cozy by the fire. 
Uh, so, it looks like this level specifically is the just these four little areas. Can I investigate this room for any secret entrances? Because it just seems so not right to go into swirling chaos right off the bat. Mm. Um, let's see here. Uh, you're proficient in a lot of tools. Give me an intelligence check plus Smith's tools proficiency. So effectively, just a uh, your int ability check. Um, and then add four to it. Or, yeah, just general investigation, but I won't say this is for investigating the room. This is for okay. something else. Okay. 22. Okay. Um, from what you recall from the outside, this is not the room you want to be investigating. Because you don't think there's any way past this wall over here, sort of on this little curve, to... Okay make something, you know, like a passage to hide. Um, you think maybe further in that other room you were just in, maybe. Like, that way? <laughs> maybe. It's unfortunate we can never get quite as lucky. Give me a uh, perception check, Bazaar. Okay, okay, perception. I'm perceiving real mm -hmm. good. I clicked, oh, no. I didn't do it. I just did it. Oh, nice. no, it did. I think. Oh, shit, damn it. I hope I didn't roll it again. I That's alright. Uh, hey, same, well, same result. Same one. So, Mazur, what do you hear when you're right there? I don't actually hear any different. <laughs> hmm. What about now? Let me turn my, my sounds around. Maybe. Surround sound. Okay, I might be also able to help a little bit. Shit, where's that at again? It's in the sound thing, buddy. There's playlist, that's what it is. Hmm. Right? No? Yeah. Because all it's playing is just the light. Oh. Do global volume oh. controls. Oh, there it is. Is that wind? That is a little bit of a draft. Okay, I turned up my ambient way up. Okay, I do hear the draft now. Okay. <laughs> that is sweet. <laughs> Let me turn that down to what it was earlier. There you go. So that's how kind of soft it is. Yeah, you feel a draft across that wall. Hey, everybody. Uh, yes. Uh, Reinhardt especially, I'm going to need your strength. I'm going to take the last of these rations if nobody else is taking them. Sure, you can always no. trade them among others. Ember is currently chilling in the fire. Yeah, oh, chill, chilling to Ember means uh, burning to others. <laughs> so is, a little bit. Yeah. So is Ember like stepping into the flames, like looking up towards the like uh, like a chimney, like oh, that's where Santa comes from. Uh, in the corner. Of the just on top of it. Oh, okay. Kind of chilling on the mantle. Understood. Yeah. Probably better not to fully submerge myself in fire. Oh, of course. Uh, I can give you a hand if you'd like, Reinhold. I'm obviously not as strong as you. Don't even know what I'm looking for. There's, did you hear the, the gust? I don't know. Do I? If you get right there, do you hear uh -huh. it coming through your headphones a little bit? Let me turn up my volume. Turn yeah. up the ambience. Put your ambient at like 40% or so ish on the slider. I put mine at like 80. I put mine all the way up. Oh, sick. Can't wait for you guys to step by the fireplace and hear the crackle of fire. Oh, that's really cool. Why, yes, I do hear it. 
Okay, so there's obviously some draft uh, there, and you're not. I'm gonna sure need you to peel why. that open so we don't have to go into the other death room. Um, what if it leads to the other death room? And then we were going to have to encounter it anyway. And then we can attack it from two fronts at once. Got it. Yeah. Flank the black swirling mass that you saw. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, let's see. So you're trying to find a mechanism here. I would say this is an investigation check, whoever would like to roll it. And I inspire myself. Uh, with guidance? I mean guidance, sorry. Yes. Whatever. Yeah, you may. Okay. Holy shit, I forgot your charisma was super high, by the way. Uh, okay, well, d4. Excellent. DC 10. Yeah, the, the stonework is stoning right now. Mm. Yep. That's a wall, guys. Uh, Ember, could you help us take a look at this? I know that you're uh, a little... You have a keen eye. Mm, I can do my best. What am I looking at? Try examining this corner. See if we can't figure out where this draft is coming from. Yeah, give me uh, an investigation check, Amber. Thanks. Okay. And do investigation. Right. I'll, I'll roll this D four just to expedite the Ember process. Sees nothing. It is yeah. The wall is walling. <laughs> There's a wall there. That's for sure. Yeah, stonework is beautiful, you? but like you're just like it's kind of nice, and there's not really a whole bunch of edges where I would put a button. Like that's kind of what you're thinking. Are you sure there's not just a draft, Vizor? I'm telling you, this is something. This is something. Play video game logic. Hit it with a sword. Hmm. If the wall disappears. Oh, can I investigate the mantle? Sure. What? Oh, it's where I was sitting. <laughs> exactly. No one will ever expect it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you see a little bit of give um, when Embra sits on the mantle. And you see some, like, uh, old soot or dust fall off. And as it falls off, um, as you're sort of tracking these little um, motes of dust and specks and whatnot that are falling from the mantle, you look past it and you see on the bottom of the, uh, like, the grate of the, the fireplace, um, there's, like, a little latch. Oh. I'll reach in there with my crowbar. Yeah, smart man. Okay, cool. And you uh, undo it? Yeah. Okay. So you hear two clicks. One on the left and one on the right. <laughs> Good job, Embra. Yay. Well, left to right, gentlemen. Mm. Ooh. Left. A thing. Oh, there's a ladder. Mm. Hey, friends, I found a ladder in this opening over here that mysteriously is now there. Does it go up or down? It doesn't have a color, so I don't know. Oh. Why would it not have a color for you? Uh, oh, wait, I hold am, on. Hold I am on. also gray when I go in there. Yeah. I don't know why that would be the case. Uh, let's see. It's also, it's also a great scale for me. Has colors. That is weird. That's cool, but it's just fucking weird. <laughs> Token, vision. <laughs> let's just do that. What about now, Embra? Yes, it is red. So that means okay. it goes down. Okay. Uh, yeah. So ladder icons will always go down. Stair icons will always go up. Just to let you guys know. Oh, okay. Amber's gonna huh. check on the set over here. Ooh. I wonder if I'll have to do this for every scene. Interesting. That's fine. Amber screams from across the hall that she found a door. Mm. Oh. She's frantically sprinting back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually All right. I am now going, going to open the said door. Sure. As you reach for the handle and attempt the door, it seems to be locked. Darn. Yeah. Door is locked. Who has lock picking skills? Uh, 
Uh, do any of you have thieves tools on your person? Yes. I love Wait. That. Maybe not. Maybe I gave him back. I wonder where that Might. criminal of ours is. Might be thinking of the other game, maybe. I don't know. Well, I guess I do. Nope, I do. Nope. I have thieves tools. Uh -huh. Are you proficient with thieves tools? Why do you have thieves tools? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can just steal some shit. Can't argue with that. Unless I'd like to. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, whoever would like to attempt the door, um, go ahead and roll me oh. just a uh, sleight of hand check plus Thieves Tools proficiency. Uh, I'll let Vizor do it because he's, yep. he's got proficiency and I'll give him guidance and I'll be okay. right back. Sure. Uh, until I get back in the game, Vizor, go ahead and roll your uh, uh, sleight of hand and then add proficiency. Um, I don't have proficiency in sleight of hand. Oh no, I meant with uh, like thieves tools because you have tool proficiency, right? Well, actually, wait, my tool. Oh yeah, I do have thieves tool proficiency. Yeah. yeah. So effectively, you're just gonna roll a deck check and then add a d4 for his guidance and then add your um a flat plus four for your proficiency. Okay, so I'll just roll. Oops, I meant to click not self, but anyway, that's so my flat plus three. Yep. Uh, plus a d4 you said, and then plus four. Yep. Oh, sorry, I kind of did that. Fucky wucky. No, oh, Jesus. 25. Uh, yeah, if I was in the game world right now, I'd be happy to open the door for you, but until I get there, uh, we're just gonna pretend like this never happened. I'm just gonna break down the door. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> the door unlocked or will not open. Welcome back. Of course. Uh, give me one second. You get it, Bazoor? He did get it. Uh, but until I get back in there, he ain't gonna be doing nothing. I think that about it. I, I think I got it, but I can't move now. <laughs> yeah. Zor, I think you rolled a stealth check. The door is stuck. The, door the stealth stuck. check was just to get my flat plus three. I meant to roll sleight of hand and then roll the other stuff, but you know, I, uh... It just do be happening like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. This is proof that gods exist. He unlocked the door, but he cannot open it. Yeah. Mayhaps. Riveting gameplay. What his favorite ice cream flavors? Mm. I thought you said riven in gameplay. <laughs> riven in like, gameplay? I was like, what did I do? Riven in gameplay. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, H, really? Come on. Get that shit out I'm gonna of go over here. Ka chow. <laughs> Ka chow. Oh. Hey, hey I'm sorry not to spoil nothing. Yeah, go for I it. I accidentally clicked somewhere on the map and said you were not close enough to pick up this item. I can't see what it was, but there's apparently an item on the map. <laughs> oh, that's baller. And Tammy's clicking all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> loot. Loot. <laughs> Give me the loot. Oh. That's the, that's the uh the sound cue I need to play when you guys pick up an item. Give me, <laughs> Give the, me loot. the loot. Give me the loot. <laughs> Where she was thought it the... was the ocean. It's just a pool. Yeah. <laughs> that is fucking funny. Where's the item? Or where does the item be? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Can Crane just gives no craps about the store. <laughs> no, Crane's chilling in the Barca lounger in the other room. It's where it's warm. It's understandable. I mean, I get it. Guys, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's going on. My legs, my arms, nothing will move. Open it, Bazaar. I'm trying. I really am. I can't move. 
I can't breathe. Azur, it is really not that difficult, man. Come on. <laughs> Look, you guys just killed him. All you had to do was believe in his ability, and he would have been fine. But no. Killed him. Look, I'm not saying I wasn't trying to believe. However. Well, now, now he's dead anyway. Uh, I'm going to take skips. Thanks, guys. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> Joke's on you if I die, skills only last for nine days. That would be really horrible, and Ember would honestly just cry. Yeah, it'd be really sad because you'd watch the life slowly fade out of him as no one's there to recharge his energy core. Yep, absolutely. Well, it even... sounded even worse when you said that, yeah. yeah. Didn't you talk about putting a little like pocket in him? You just put a little instruction packet in there in case anybody ever finds him. Like a return to creator thing, but like in case you can't, here's how to like how to recharge him. Oh, if well. only it were so easy. Yeah. Uh guys, you'll never guess what happened. I'm actually back and can run a fucking game. All right, cool. Oh wow, that's I know. crazy. It's, it's weird. I, I, I am, I'm I ready for this door to open. Hey, let me I, close World of Warcraft real quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Imagine. <laughs> I found the um, item. Yeah? What? <laughs> Not close enough to pick up the side of my found it. There we go. All right. We're, we're back, kids. All right. Cool. All right. Door. I like unlocked. how Darren was just hovering. Oh, right. oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Ever do! Go ahead! Go ahead. <laughs> 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 it just closes the door. <laughs> yeah, you're not close enough to pick up the demon. <laughs> Jump scare. No, so uh, I'll see. Uh, so when you see open you? the door, you see a spell scroll on the ground. Um, it drops the icon for what spell it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's so you guys funny. are fine. Um, you, you'll know immediately, Embra. It's a, a spell of hellish rebuke. Okay. Oh, God. I want oh. it. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Take all this time to get through the door, and then the door's a <laughs> hell monster. Yeah. I was so ready. I opened the door and went in. I didn't want it. You cannot pass. Uh, well, so now I, I can't pick up the item. <laughs> Uh, it Whoa. might just be laggy, maybe. I'm not sure. That's what Blow I would guess. Blow it. The icon uh, is gone. Oh, there it goes. Oh, so yeah, you probably picked it up. It's probably just really fucking laggy right now. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Oh, there we go. Hellish oh. Rebuke has been added to Ember's inventory. Yeah, so Ooh. let's see. Spells. I love Hellish. Right. Hellish oh. Rebuke's like a cool thing. Uh, that's weird. It added it as a spell, so give me one second and I'll actually drop the, um, uh, what it should be. So here, get rid of Hellish Rebuke. Yup. Get rid of that. Yup. And then let me drop Hellish Rebuke on your inventory. And that drops the spell scroll. Okay. Cool. How do I use it for my inventory? Uh, so it, it'll effectively function like a potion. Um, it'll, when you, like, click it when you want to use it, it'll say... Hey, you're about to cast this, or you're about to consume this item, and you hit yes, and the spell will just show up in chat like normal. But I can only use it once? Yep, it's got one use. Darn. Isis, what happened? Well, we got run out of the northern provinces. This is just standing there <laughs> Thank you, sir. and screaming. Damn it, Linda. Isis, what happened? I will single-handedly destroy um, Isis. So... So, do you guys want to go downstairs, or do you want to stay on this level? Nah, we're jumping. Okay. Jump not even down. using, not even using the railing. Jumping. Right. Once I, you, she does not speak for all of us. <laughs> Once you guys uh, get down there, just uh, kind of stay in that one room if you don't mind. Oh, actually, I don't think you guys have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Avoid the mushrooms and come here. Hi. No. Nice to All right, and then uh, Eric, let me know when you're down as well. Oh, Tell me your secrets. No worries. Okay. Skills, jump boy. And then let me activate the scene. 
Beautiful. Oh no, it's gray again. Okay. We're all in a silent film. I thought you said Silent Hill. Silent I was Hill, yeah. It. Yep. <laughs> it's nighttime. We don't talk about things like that. True. Pyramid head, pyramid head, pyramid head. Stop it, Patrick. You're scaring her. <gasps> <laughs> All right. You guys are free to move as you will. Uh, I don't know if you'd like to take the lead. I'm running. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, I guess. There's nothing here. Where oh. am I? Oh, do you guys not? Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, there is something there. It's just a door. For some reason, it was set up as a secret door. <laughs> oh. Good job. Uh, give me two seconds. Boop, boop, boop. Change that. Change that. Bang. Is door? It is door. Is it locked? Yeah, it is locked. So you guys will have to make a. Uh, yeah, it is locked. I wasn't lying. <laughs> All right, Bazaar, you're out. Fuck. Good. Let me get out of the way. Thank hope you. You. Hope you don't get paralyzed again. Then I'm gonna change your vision again, Vizur. There we go. <laughs> Reinhold, didn't you used to be a criminal? Uh huh. <laughs> wow. There we go. Didn't okay. you used to be a different person with him? Touche. So you're just getting 25 after 25, which oh, uh, yeah. yeah, that is enough actually. Okay. Because it like twenty four wouldn't have been enough though, and I like yeah. that. All right. I hate that. <laughs> nice. Is it another demon? Woo! No. Okay, there be careful, is. Ember. Don't Oof. let your greed get ahead of you here. Yep. Let's finally move forward to space. Scales. Huh? Would you go away? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. There he is. Teleport. <laughs> Scales has still got the gray scale vision. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I hate that. We can keep it. Yeah. He's like chests. I would like to investigate the first chest for traps. Okay. I'll check this one. All the brown ones in the mix. <laughs> guys are amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Investigation check for the first. Beautiful. I got the third. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I will also investigation. Are you going to investigate the red one? Yeah. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> okay, good stuff. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to add, I, I'm going to move this item from another room just to say that they were more of a chest. Uh, effectively, how this is going to work is like a dungeon crawl. Um, assuming you beat the uh, like the the big bad at the end, like you complete the dungeon, I'm just going to give you guys a whole bunch of items. Um, there will be a couple sprinkled throughout, but on top of what you find, there's going to be random amounts of currency and gems and art objects worth X amount of GP and stuff like that. So uh, don't feel underwhelmed by the little stuff you're getting because I'll say just in the, like this first level so far that you've explored you've probably found like a couple thousand worth of gold pieces and like art objects oh. and stuff like that all right yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go little bits at a time yeah, yeah only okay. only one of them are trapped and it's actually this uh the second one here uh but it's just like the sort of noxious gas sort of uh pocket that uh you're able not to puncture as you sort of disable the mechanism uh, that being said, I will go lantern. ahead and reveal that item there, which seems to be a lantern. Oh, oh. sorry. I meant to look at it, not... Oh, yeah. Once you guys pick it up, it, it's going to be gone and in your inventory, I think. Sorry. And uh, then this one here, which is uh, a sword. Oh, Reinhold. That looks like your alley. It's Perchance. a little too slicey for me. A little too dainty for Reinhold. So, Shame. <laughs> so Riven, the item that you picked up, uh, although inadvertently, is a uh, a hooded, oh. like a lantern of revealing. It's a hooded lantern. Um, and basically, in 30 feet, you can see uh, invisible creatures as long as they're in the bright light of the lantern. Uh, okay. Um, does anyone want this... Um this lantern 
Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Does, does anyone besides the item hog want this item? <laughs> item hog? I never get anything. Ever. You had like four items. You were un you, you were unattuned to one of them, but kept it just because you could. Yeah, and then who did I give it to? Me. Nice. Oh. You. Oh. Does she have the whip still? Now watch me, Nene. Do you have the whip? I have the whip. Uh, no. I thought I uh, Drew, I you, you have the sickle. Uh, what out found a uh, a dupe glitch in your game. <laughs> Sick. And that's okay. I now have two dream sabers. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Uh, is that what that's called? A dream saber? Yeah. Yep. Uh, if you want to read up on it, Reinhold, feel, you know what I want you to do? I want you to send it to the player that you think would benefit the most. Well, I'm going to read it first. Cool. I love that. I love that for you. Um, and then... See, I'm not the one who says that, Eric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said I love that for you, and he made fun of me literally yesterday for saying that. <laughs> I love then, that for you. I love that for you, frankly. <laughs> and then, Eric, I gave you uh, access to a macro called a uh, light picker. And what I want, to, I'm going to try and do this for you. Hooded lantern open. There you go. So you are now in the center of a hooded lantern. If it's closed, ah. it looks like that. And if you turn it off, obviously there's no light. Fantastic. I look over at Vizur. Vizur, is there a way to mount this to scales? <gasps> hmm. Hmm. That's cool. Is, I think it would be adorable if he had like a little lantern hanging from like his side or something. It's a one-handed sword, Drew. Yeah, it's like a scimitar. Does it not have a uh, witch call it? Uh, Might have to be a little bit more specific. What's, what's the word? Um, yeah. It, it has finesse. It's it's light, it's finesse, and it's uh, magical. Hmm. But that's not a terrible idea, Raven. I think so. I think if he, especially because it would leave our hands free and he wouldn't need one to hold it. That is cool. I, I, as a DM, I love this imagery. Yeah, he's just a little doing his little scoots along, and he has he's a, a goofy little guy. Him. Lanterns jingling, invisible creatures fear him. Jingling, jangling, perhaps. <laughs> Let's not get too far. Oh, okay, sure. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, I suppose you or Ember can hold on to it for now, and I will uh, figure that out when we get somewhere where I can actually sit down and work on it. Ember. Mm. Yeah, let me hold it. Okay. I don't want to handle the scales. There you go. I have trade requests sent to you. The Lantern of Revealing. Thanks. Have accepted it. Excellent. So now when you hold That's that, uh, you can you know, reveal invisible things. I gotta figure out where it is in my stuff. Uh, under your consumables, it looks like. Yeah, I think under it's... Yeah, consumable. Underneath the terrifying face of the spell scroll, Alice <laughs> Also, Embra, as you're carrying around like Master Wit and all the other stuff, you're realizing quite quickly oh, this stuff is getting real heavy because <laughs> you're almost at uh, the point of being like encumbered. Uh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I'm just, just keep an there. eye on it. Yep. <laughs> but you're good for now. Ain't no thing. Ain't sure. no thing. You have the rainbow blade thing. Vazur has rainbows reward, yes. Yeah. And what do you have, Riven? Uh, Confidence. Besides the quarter staff of warning, nothing. Okay. <clears throat> then I will give this to you, Riven. Give what to me? The sword. Ooh, a sword. <laughs> I have to remember how to trade. There's an uh, there's a button that looks like a skills, like a like an advocate or not an advocate, but like a uh -huh. trade scale. Right by where you can delete the item or edit the item, maybe something like that. Uh, yes, there's. Yep, and then you can just hit that and then send to player. Uh, okay, I I appreciate it. 
Well, you use yeah. swords, right? Uh, I do, and I, um, ever since my, um, resurrection, I haven't felt right us using my other sword. Hmm. Well, there you go. New one. Oh, cool. All right. So the saber functions as a scimitar. Right? It's just a D6 weapon. Um, but yeah, it's got some psychic damage and uh, like a plus one bonus to attack and, and damage. And oh, wow. All that good stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and equip it for you just so it's in your like token action HUD list. Um, Let's give her a try. Yeah. Also, if you... I, I forget how long it takes to make your monk weapon like that dedicated thing, right? But when you yeah. want to do it, just let me know. There you go. Let's you see. Go. Yep, that all works. Well, 29 action. Okay. Oh, ow. <laughs> Don't worry. It doesn't, good thing that doesn't good apply thing that damage automatically. Apply. No. Uh, does works. this require attunement? Uh, let me double check, because I actually am not sure. Um, it's... Oh, yes. It does require attunement. Okay. So you are currently attuned to it looks like the Luna Moth Cape and is that it? Uh the slippers, I believe. Are those attunement? I wouldn't know. Attunement not required. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, looks... and then the quarter staff of warning. I, I think that might not even be attunement not, not required. <laughs> am I not attuned to anything but the Luna Moth Cape? Yeah, and that Shit. was very recent, right? Which I forgot I had until I checked my inventory this session. Yeah. Oh, did you? Is that? Do you see any details for that? By the way. Uh, yeah. Okay. The Luna Moth Cape. Yeah, I see what it does and gotcha. the okay. flavor floor. I I didn't know if it was uh, like secreted uh, text. No, no, no. We're good. It looks like uh, it's formatted. Okay. <coughs> I do have a pretty nice looking cape. Mm -hmm. And a cool sword, which just functions as a scimitar until I'm attuned into uh, attuned to it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Now you're almost cool. Uh, thanks. Mm. I think. Got your ass. Shut <laughs> up. But yeah, so I'll keep that sheath for now. But whenever we have a chance, I'll attune to it. Okay. Cool. Did we open all of the chests already? Yeah, you'll find a whole bunch of different stuff like. You guys are finding stuff like, um, uh, like Alexandrite, like a gem, right? Like a blue spinel, another gem, a bunch of currency. Um, you're finding some minor magical items that I'm not going to add at the moment. Um, uh, you guys find the spell scroll. There's like topaz, sapphire, like a bunch of, bunch of stuff like that. Uh, in fact, I can't share it with you yet, but there are, oh boy, how many items would this be? Oh, uh, 15, 18, there's like 40, 50 items. I'm actually not proficient with scimitars. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Why would it add? Well, let me see what base weapon it's using. It's a martial melee weapon. Yep. Base weapon. What's it? Would you, are you proficient with short swords? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to call the short sword. I'm not going to fuck you over like that. Appreciate it. I mean, there already is no saber in like rules as written, so yeah, I'll call it the short right, right. sword. Yeah, when it was a uh, when it was like, oh, it's a scimitar. I'm like, oh, I... yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I think a, a rare magic weapon that is like a smallish blade should be able to uh, be handled by a almost tenth level character. So I appreciate it. Yeah, just figured I'd be uh, I'd be accurate. I, I appreciate that. I love the up and ups. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, you guys are finding a bunch of coinage and, and stuff like that. Um, uh, you have a locked door in front of you as Scales has been trying to pick at it. Aw, uh, love him. Okie dokes. Uh, and then, Vizur, I guess, when you want to uh, put that lantern on Scales, just let me know. Oh, I mean, if I could fashion something like I have some Hydra hide in my inventory. I guess yeah, I can I mean, make like I... a small little necklace or braid out of that. Right. I mean, just based off of your skills in general, it, it would not be difficult by any means. Um, so let's see here. 
Sure. Go ahead and just give me a uh oh boy. <laughs> a creativity check. Um what would this be? Like metal working? Almost, yeah. Uh <laughs> it's it's effectively gonna use a tool proficiency. Let's say I have leather workers' tools. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's call it survival. Um because I don't know why. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just going to be proficiency on top of that. Oof. I mean, you have a willing participant. It's not like he's flailing while you're doing this. It's true. <laughs> Would that be plus another five, then? Uh, plus four for your proficiency. Oh, plus four. That's right. My bad. Yep. And you also have your flash of genius. You do. You know what? I'll use that just so I don't waste the material. Okay, cool. So, so 13, Features. and then... Uh, and then another flat four on top of that. So that, that would be a 17. Okay, cool. So, light picker. So this is what he would look like with a hooded lantern open. <laughs> this is what Whoa. it would look like closed. He's and a god. this is what it would look like off, obviously. Um, so the hooded lantern has six hours, I want to say, oh. of uh, fuel time. Uh, and then, do you still have the lantern uh, ribbon? Uh, no. Did you send it? Okay. I had given it to uh, Ember. Oh, gotcha. Well, Ember, I guess ultimately it's your call, but uh, Vizur has a harness ready for the lantern if you don't want to carry it around and you want skills to have it. Yeah. I just don't know how to send it. I, I got you. I got you covered. I will expedite process in Vizur. It's just going to be uh, on your sheet for now, but obviously we know that uh, skills has it. Right on. And I'll also give you access to this macro uh, that will allow you to uh, turn it on and off. So, Zach, I'll make you owner of the macro. So, it's called Light Picker in the little macro folder on your hot bar. Um, you can just search L I G and it should eventually come up. And uh, you can drag it to a hot bar. And once you have skills highlighted and click it, um, it'll it'll bring up a bunch of options. You'll see. Sorry, where do I find it at? So the hot bar, your one through zero on the bottom, there's a little folder yeah. icon. Oh, the folder. There you go. Okay, yep. got it, got it. And then you drag the light yep. picker macro onto one of your things, and then have scales selected and hit that macro. Oh, it gives me a whole bunch of options. Yep, so it's a hooded lantern. So that's closed. You can change it to open, and then when you want to turn it off, you just put it to off, or none, I think it is. There you go. All right. Uh, Sorry. Next locked door. Uh, so far, you guys have not broken any thieves tools, so you're looking pretty fucking good. All right. All right. Let's see if I can continue the trend. <clears throat> I love that. Arnold, may I have your assistance again? Mm, what? May, may I have your magical assistance again? Oh, yeah. Guidance. Love it. All right. Reinhold, go ahead and roll a d4, uh, and then Vizor, do your other stuff. Oh, I rolled the D4. I'm sorry. I just ignore mine then. Good. Because it was garbage. Yeah. So that'd perfect. be a 17, I think. Yeah. Cool. All right. That is plenty. It is unlocked, and you're free to open it. So this is probably where you find the magical saber is on this table of other items, oh, other weapons. Oh, hey, a cool sword. Huh? Yeah. Yoink. And then you guys see a dirty, like, dusty storeroom, uh further into the next room where some of the light from this uh, torch is escaping and, and letting in. Some heartbreak for a lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. What's that? Oh, I don't like when you say that, Ember. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm going to click on it and find out. Okay. Not close enough to pick up this item. Yep, All gotta right. be within five feet. I see. Okay, like... so, Ember, I'm going to pause ah. it there. Yep. <laughs> so when you pick up that item uh, and you pick it up and grab it, um, you see a small spider sort of dart at you. Oh, and, no. Yep. And I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative, please. Oh. God damn it. Oh, boy. Is Embra's little... greed getting us in trouble? <laughs> no, 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 no. Embra getting used to D&D &D has now transformed into a loot goblin. Damn right. Okay. And you I know what? Them. I'm so damn proud. I know, it's great. Yeah, you know what? 
Oh, I actually, uh, I have advantage on that. So, hey, I got scales. Update combatant, and I'm going to put you right beneath your buddy, Vazor. Love it. And then I'll just roll that again. Cool. All right, and then so 17 still. 17. Awesome. Okay. So, although that spider sort of darted at you, I'm not going to count it as, like, a free attack or a surprise round. Because uh, it's more flavor than anything. What was that? You appreciate that? Yeah, yeah I appreciate I, that. I am a loving and merciful god. Uh, so, combat has begun. Oh, boy. This All is right. like a... <clears throat> So this buddy comes out of the woodwork or the crate work and we'll get over to you. Um, mind your movements in here because a lot of these crates are all set up with walls. So you would probably have to use like click drag movements um, just to be safe because you're going to encounter a lot of walls in here. Just fair warning. Um, so Ember, this spider is going to try and fuck you up. Uh, it's got multi attack. It's got two trimming blade attacks or two needle shuttle attacks. So, it's in melee. Let's do trimming blade. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a 23 to hit your armor class. And then if you want to cast shield, just let me know. Um, okay. Let me see what I have available. Sure. I won't apply anything yet. Uh... So I've used one fourth level, one fifth level. Uh, you've used uh, a third and a fourth. You still have a fifth level left. Oh yes, I do see that. My brain's not working. Okay. Uh, sure. I'll use shield. Okay. So try targeting yourself and then casting shield. I'm not sure if it'll apply automatically, but regardless, I won't so, apply any damage. Is that a clockwork spider? It is. Uh, something like that. And, uh, I actually don't know if shield will help you uh, at 23. Oh, yeah, because shield would bring your armor class up to, I think, 20. Yeah, so yeah. shield shield wouldn't help with this first attack. So it, it'll, it'll do this damage regardless. Uh, so fine. that'll just be 10 points of just the slashing damage. And then uh, let me double check here because I think I can do a couple different attacks. Yeah. Eh. Oh, no, that's arranged. Okay. All right, and uh, the second of the two trimming blade attacks uh, is going to be an eight, so that definitely misses. All right, and that is it for this clockwork weaving spider's turn. Embra, you are up. And uh -huh. I will unpause the game. Time for revenge on this very tiny spider. Call it revenge, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to do what an ember normally does, and I'm going to firebolt it. Okay. Uh, let's target. see. Yep, go for it. Uh, oh, don't target myself. Target the spider. There you Thank go. you. Knock it out. Now. Ooh. Ooh. 17 will definitely freaking hit. Jesus H. Christ. Uh, and then it'll be another flat five damage on top of that from your elemental affinity, right? Oh my god. Yeah. That, that spider's looking real hurt. Okay, that was your action, and you still have a bonus and a movement. Uh, so, whatever you would like to do. I will... Bonus to take out my flame blade. Okay. I love that. But All right, flame blade is cast, and you have it out. Uh, awesome. Anything you want to do with your movement? Do you want to shift one square? Do you want to provoke an attack of opportunity, even though it means getting back? What What are you feeling? Uh, so if I move down one square, that would that. You You would still be in melee, so it would not provoke anything. Okay, I'll move down one square. Okay. Both. All right. Uh, Crane is up, and here's a bunch of s skittish skittering that the spiders often do. That's 10. We'll call that 30. Love that. And, uh, I 
think. Actually, Crane's got 35 feet of movement. Uh, Reinhold, watch out, buddy. As uh, Crane will unleash a shot. Uh, with the Bastos spell. Ooh, that might hit. It does hit. I love that. You don't even gotta add any, uh, scrolls. What would Crane cast if I was Crane? Bonus action? Nah, not right now. Eh, not the moment. Okay, uh, Riven, you are up. Alright, the spider seems to be, uh, finished. Looks to be. Okay. But you still hear skittering all around. Uh, all around is in, like, you know, right, left, up. In and, the room. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah. I will first do 20 to get over here. And look around real quick. Oop. Uh, I don't see anyone. Uh, you would after this creature's triggered action comes off. Oh, great. Because it had a, a very high stealth roll. Uh, so basically it's Hey, when one person comes within melee, make a free like attack. That, right? make, that makes sense. Uh, so, because it's sort of well, you have the core staff of warning, so it wouldn't surprise you. Oh, yeah. Right. So it's only going to be a six to hit. Ain't fucking nothing. Already. And we don't even got to worry about a thing. Why is this the way it is? Ah, uh, because I fucked that up. Sorry, they have a higher to hit, but it wouldn't change anything. Uh, okay, you may continue with your turn. Okay, so that was... I'll say that was 30 feet. I like 30 feet. Yep. Uh, what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is... Because I know that my allies are probably also going to want to get in here. I'm going to sort of... I'm going to step five feet up the side of the bear... Like the crate here. And then shift around, so that I can effectively drop here. Yeah, with with a with a passive acrobatics of nineteen, I will allow that. So I'm gonna drag you right there. I also, uh, as a monk, I can uh, move up vertical spaces up during yeah, my Yeah, I know you can do everything. Uh, that hey, being, I can't do everything. <laughs> that being said, uh, this creature's triggered action. Triggered across. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> so, um, oh. this one. Uh, oh, sorry. I gotta move this because it was like, hey, it's blocked by a wall. Alright. Oh, no. Not even, not even close. Alright. That one misses. Okay. Uh, again, continue with your turn. I will actually target that one. Okay. And I am going to uh, attack it. Alright. Oh, no. that don't impress me much. Thank you, Shania, for not even playing. I was about to say, that didn't even play for me. Pathetic. And then I will strike it again. Alrighty. That will, yeah, that will hit. And that'll be seven points of bludgeoning damage with your Fist of Forgiveness. Uh, and then I will do, as a bonus action, just a single hit against it. Cool. Awesome. Oh, I love when I can just click it and it does the work. All right. And cool. uh, that'll be it for me. You, you don't have like three action surges as a, as a monk yet or anything? That's uh, No, no, cool. I am not at level no, two. No, no, I'm glad. I... Yeah, yeah. I skipped no. that at level two. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, before you go, Reinhold, there is one more creature, enemy creature. I see. Uh, and we're going to go. Oh, Jesus, it's right there. Uh, 40 feet. So it can get up here on this crate. I don't want that. Look, 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 look. I love Embra's like blind sense. And I'm gonna go <laughs> one, two, <laughs> Jesus, one, two, three, four, or five, six, uh, for who this guy targets. Oh. Great. Okay. Sorry, Riven. Nice. He's the enemy punching bag. We need this. I hate that. I love that for you. So cute. It's a it's a ranged attack. All right, I gotta hone in on some of this automation. Sorry, I gotta move him to you because it's like, hey, this guy's range is uh, x x amount away. But I'm like, brother man, it's a ranged attack. 
What about if I do that now? Oh. And then can I do it from here? Yeah, yeah. You like this? I uh, maybe. There we go. Kinda know. Alright. Uh first attack. Oh, that's a big one. That's a twenty-two. Uh that'll hit. Uh yep. can I actually use my reaction to sure. uh deflect missiles? Yeah, yeah. What is uh go ahead and put it in chat for me. I certainly can. First time I've gotten to use this in quite a while. Uh, Vizur, just a little bit of flavor for you, and then Reinhold, you're on deck. Um, a lot of what you hear as these spiders are moving are gears clanking and, like, whirring, and it seems very artificer-like to you. Uh, it's quite like it. I clicked the... I'm clicking, like, the little dice thing to try and have it show up in the mm. chat, but it is not... It's okay. I can, that, I can just say you don't have it. Unless there. that does it. There we go. Cool. All right. Uh, so effectively, it's just a D10 plus 14. <laughs> so I, I reduced that. What the fuck is wrong that, with uh... monks? <laughs> All right. So D10 plus 14. Is that <clears throat> like dex plus monk level? Monk level. Yep. Fucking Christ. All uh, right. So I actually catch the needle. Yeah. Uh, Can I use a key point to then redirect that attack to this guy. Sure. Alrighty. Yeah, so it just counts for you as a deflect missile attack? Or like a... Uh, just a effectively a, uh, an attack with a, a... It says effectively as like my monk weapon. Okay. And do you do damage with what the missile was supposed to do? Uh, that's a good question. It doesn't I actually say in the thing. I'll check yeah. it for you. Let's see. Not delect missiles. <laughs> uh, attack is reduced. If you reduce the damage to zero, you can uh, catch a missile, hold it in one hand, and spend one key to make a ranged attack with the weapon. So and because it'd be a ranged, a yeah, because it'd be a ranged attack against the creature next to you, I think that would be disadvantage. Oh, right? uh, you're right. Because you're, right. you're within uh, five feet. All right. Uh, can I then redirect it against the creature that threw it at me? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Missile counts uh, as a monk weapon for the attack. Okay. Yeah, so, so I guess I just it. I rolled this the same thing. an unarmed thing. strike, I, was, I assume? Yep. Okay. So, 14. Sorry, not against that guy. Yeah, I understand. You're good. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not you, buddy. You, you get minus 9. All right, and that user reaction. So, luckily, it has one more attack. Uh, So, it'll do it. Do, do, do. One more time. Oh, Shania. Hey, there she is. I wonder if he cl if it climbs along the strand to continue the attack, does it just loop around on itself? Yeah, kind of. Love right. that. Sorry for the delay, Reinhold, you are up. Uh oh, did he move away? Did who move away? Riven? The yes. spider? Oh, the spider was up there. Sorry. I had to drop him down there so he got um like vision effectively. Oh, okay. Because he was constrained yeah. by walls. Yeah, it was gonna oh, climb along shot. the line to hit me, but I just threw the line back, so I couldn't really. He's, do he's ten feet up. He is ten feet up. He's on a big stack of crates. Mm. Mm -hmm. Start breaking the crates to get to it. Mm -hmm. Gonna start I'm chopping. Not... Eventually, you're gonna be there. Not gonna activate my flame tongue. Okay. Gonna not do that. Um, does it seem like these crates are easily climbable? With the remainder of your movement, yes, because it takes 15 to get there. If you spend the additional 15 to get up there, I will allow it. So that'd be you all. Could, uh, you could try to jump it. But I'll have to. your strength? That's true. My strength is 19. So I think that you have a standing long jump of seven, f or not a standing. You have a, a high jump of seven feet. Mm. It's ten feet up though, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you're also like six foot something. Yeah, but you're still jumping from zero feet, right? Yeah. So his feet wouldn't wouldn't mm. clear it, but I'm assuming he could grab the top. Yeah. yeah either way, you'll just... have enough movement to get there. Uh, yeah, I'll just spend the. Okay. Oh, wait, it's considering me hitting a wall with the crates. Yep, that's why I mentioned it. It's all good. 
There you go. Just right click to get rid of that stuff. I'm trying. There we go. So you're effectively um, 10 foot up. Uh, and. I will activate the flame tongue now. Bonus action. Sure. And, uh. We'll swing in action. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. That will, that will definitely hit. And go ahead and do that and other then, formula. Yep. Love that. Beautiful. Okay. Fly damage. Boom. This man's a menace. That one's dead. Um, use my bonus action. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess that's my turn. Okay. I like that. All right. This boy will skitter up here. To you. And target. <clears throat> and let's see. Multi attack makes two sickle claw attacks. Let's do one. Ah, oh, natural 20. Oh, hey, okay. uh. ah, it's okay. Reinhold's got the HP for it. Maybe. All right. So that'll be just a flat 15. And then is there another part of this? <clears throat> I don't think so for that one. Um,. Yeah, let's do let's do this one. We'll try a razor line attack, I wanna say. Does that go off when the attack hits? No, never mind. He probably should have done that first. So he's not gonna do that. He's just gonna make another attack. Uh yeah, fourteen will not hit. Okay, and uh, does it want to do anything else? I don't necessarily think so. Mm. Yeah, no. Alright, one more clockwork spider to go. It will get up here. Will be ten feet up. Nice. And Reinhold, you're gonna get targeted with a uh, regular little. Oh, this fucking thing. Uh, regular ranged attack. It'll be thirty feet. And, sorry, I'm gonna set all these walls to be like six feet high or something. There we go. Wall height, top, let's call it 8 feet, bottom, 0 feet. Cool. Alright, so now let's see. Yes, wall didn't block it. Ooh, that'll be a 23 to hit you, Reinhold. Okay. Uh, so that'll be just 6 points of damage. Oh, hold on. Minus 6, done. And then go ahead and make me a constitution save. Ooh. And that's with your plus four. Uh, okay, unfortunately, Reinhold, you are uh, paralyzed. Oh, that's so, that's not good. So you are incapacitated, can't move or speak. Uh, you automatically fail uh, strength and deck saves. Attack rolls against you have advantage, and then any attack that hits you is a crit. So this guy with his second attack is going to do the same thing uh, with advantage. Uh, Jesus, that's a natural 20. Well, it would have counted as a crit anyways. Um, luckily, this one does not hurt as much as it could have. Hey, you're fine. You're still, like, barely injured. Or injured. Okay, uh, Vizor, you are up. You see Reinhold sort of covered yeah. in web and gears that are, like, grinding into points on his flesh that are connected to particularly important muscles to move his body. Uh, somehow finding these perches in between his metal uh, sort of framework armor around him. Yeah. Um, what you got, King? I'm going to cast... I'm going to target Reinhold. I'm going to cast Vortex Warp. Oh, oh that's cool. I love, I love that. that spell. And I'm going to move him, I guess, behind Crane over here to a safe position. 
Sure. So the way I'm figuring this, and this is just more flavor than anything else, um, I'm trying to think if Reinhold would have the presence of mind to understand he's being targeted by a friendly spell and choosing to not save. Um, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Uh, I mean, I could shout something before I do so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> like, Reinhold, I got you! All right. So, Reinhold, you see your form start to uh, immutably change, even though this is of none of your own volition, and you're not sure what the hell is happening. Uh, so, where do you want to teleport him? You uh, said next to Crane? Yeah, behind so, like, Crane there. Do, yeah. Uh, that's probably the best place to be paralyzed, is near Crane. Okay, so that was your bonus action, correct? No, that's my or action. action. Okay, action, right. And uh, then, bonus uh, action. Yep. I'm going to roll the bones. Oh, I rolled the uh, ball. Uh, don't summon the quicklings again. I hate those guys. All right, go and ahead and then roll that D6. D6. Yep. Two, double or nothing. You get 10 temporary hit points, but subtract 10 hit points from your closest ally. Sorry, scales. <laughs> uh? Sorry, scales. Uh? Uh? <laughs> All right, you have 10 temporary hit points. All right, and then I'll leave Scales here to guard the entrance to Crane and Reinhold, and then okay. I myself will move uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, yep. 20, 30, uh, 45, 50. I'll stay right here for now. Okay. And turn. Right. Scales will ram the hell out of you for hurting him. No, he won't do that. Uh, yeah, what do you want Scales to do? Just stay there, you said? Yeah, I mean, okay. if I can bonus action to hold his action to attack anything that would come this way, I'll do that. Mm, but I, I'd say it's, a, yeah, it's, well, no, you use your bonus action for the bone, so you can't uh, dictate oh, what he that's does. Right. Uh, yeah. All right. Another clockwork spider uh, next to you, Embra. Uh, oh, wait, she might be BRBing, but yep. make no mistake. I can still roll this shit. Shield would yep, not save her there. So I'm just going to do damage, Joe DiMaggio, minus 12. And then second attack. No, I already rolled that for you, buddy. Uh, Jesus, 18. So, yeah, that uh, same thing. Damage, 11. That's a yikers and rikers. Yeah, I know, I know you're rolling. You're trying to help me, but I already did it. Delete that. Delete that. Cool. Okay. That is, uh, that's something else. Put that one away. Put that one away. Alright. Uh, next Spider Boy. Don't worry, we have almost made it through a round. Uh, yeah, that's fucking cool. Try and get there, maybe? Um,. Yeah. It's gonna attack you, Vazor. Uh okay, wire assisted oh, what the hell's razor line? Yeah, let me fucking use this. Okay, so that'll be a twenty two to hit you, Vazor, as you're uh Shield. Okay. Yeah, that's a good call, because it was trying to entangle you. Don't like uh, that. Okay, so that goes off nonetheless, and then this one. Oh, good good, good call. Alright. Ain't no thing. All right, this spider will take its normal actions. Uh, it'll try and razor line attack you, Riven. Understood. Uh, that's an 18 to hit. That hits right on. Okay. Uh, so this effectively, when this happens, let me pull up the sheet so I can have the correct... Uh... Okay, so this ju just does a D4 plus whatever damage to you, so that'll be that much. Okay, uh... applied it. Oh, you did. Okay, perfect. Um, and you are going to be grappled in this state. Okay. So, uh, with its second attack, it'll just make a, a normal claw against you. Uh, oh, just a two. Okay, that misses. All right. Speed becomes zero. Can't be okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, same thing, except it's not going to grapple. Uh, let's see. One claw attack. That'll hit. Yep, that'll hit. Okay. 
Ooh, I apply that. There we go. And then the oh, second okay. claw attack. And it must be correct. All right. Uh, Embra, are you back, Timmy? All right, uh, Revan, we delegate, we delegate to the gentleman from Michigan. We're all from Michigan. That's, you want me to you're not wrong. do her turn effectively? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. And I'll let her uh, work on it. I'll, uh, as Embra, I'm going to attack the spider that ran up on me with the flame blade. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't pop out her flame blade. Give me a moment. Oh, that's fine. I, I know what it does. Oh, yeah. I was just saying for the roll, like the attack. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you can just cast it and not use the use of the spell. Oh, fair enough. Okay. That way it's in the chat. Check. Unfortunately, uh, 13 uh, is not a hit. Ah, oh, darn. Uh, okay, then uh, I'll, I'll quicken a fight, uh, firebolt. Love that. So... Okay, now that will hit. Jesus, that's good damage. And then... <laughs> It'll be a flat plus five to the elemental affinity. Yep. Now, question. Just because yeah. I need to read up on this roll. Um, because it's a spell and it's a ranged attack and she's within five feet, aren't all ranged attacks within five feet unless you have a feat disadvantage? Uh, that I don't know. Let me, let me look it up real quick. Ranged attack, uh, disadvantage, five. Yes, it would get disadvantage in melee. Okay. Yeah, so just go ahead and roll it again, and then I might have to heal this uh, critter. But ain't no worries. Okay. I'll keep the, the damage roll regardless. Yeah, it, it'll hit. That's fine. There we go. Same roll. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Alrighty. Uh, Crane is going to be up here. Uh, seeing that there is a bit of commotion and whatnot, and that Reinhold is uh, kind of paralyzed, I don't think she can actually take you out of that. Or, er, uh, yes. Uh, but... What Crane can do, we're going to cast a Healing Spirit to place, um, yeah, right here, sort of at the entrance. So it's got, uh, let's see, one plus skill, spell casting. So it's got uh, free four hit points of healing uh, a number of five times. So effectively 20 points of healing right here in intervals of four for whoever needs it. Um, that was at the bonus action. Yeah. Yeah, let's attack this boy up here. We'll do a sharpshooter as well. At least for the first one. No, uh, plus six bending bullet, Drew? No, not this time. That is a good oh sharpshooter shot. We'll do oh a d6 God. for squirrels and the other thing. Uh, yeah, that's seven. Oh, wait. Other thing would have been uh, Hunter's Mark, right? I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless Crane has something else and I'm forgetting. Gathered Swarm. D6 Piercing. Yep. Yeah, so that. Yep, that's the yeah. squirrels. Yep. Gotta heal that a little bit. And then Crane's feeling confident, so he's gonna do another Sharpshooter attack. Do uh, no. Well, that's alright. Everyone has an off time. Okay. Uh, Riven, you're up. All right, uh, I'm currently grappled. I'm going to attack this fellow under me. Yep. Or below me. Mm -hmm. 11. I'll we'll hit him again. Love it. Or I guess I would try. Uh, I will flurry. Ugh, alrighty. Yeah. One more time. There we go, that'll hit. Alrighty. That okay. will hit indeed. That's beautiful. Beautiful thing right there. Total of 21. Awesome. Alrighty, it is still hanging on, it looks like. Yep. Welcome back, Ember. Okay, uh, that's it for me. I uh, cannot utilize a movement. Okay. Uh, Ember, just to catch you up, uh, we tried to make a flame blade attack against this spider. Unfortunately, we missed by a little bit. 
but we quickened a firebolt uh, cantrip to take out uh, a good chunk of this creature's health. I think you did a total of like 22 damage or something like that. Uh, so that is the tail okay. of the tape right now. Is there anything you want to do with your movement? Um, you might provoke attacks, but do you want to play a bit more passive or do you want to try and maybe get to another uh, corner or something? You're not being like flanked or anything. I'm just kind of curious if you want to stay there is all. Uh, I should be fine right here. Okay. All right. And then uh, Crane called out that he was casting a healing spirit um, back there. That's what that little, uh, actually, you might not see it on your, because the wall, but you, you've heard the spell being cast and you, you know it. So there's a little bit of uh, passive healing right there at like four HP per interval if you want to use it. Um, all right, okay. Riven, you can go ahead and uh, I think at the end of your turn, make a uh, saving throw. Uh, saving throw against what? The effect, the paralyzed effect. Or I'm sorry, Reinhold. Did I say Riven? Yeah. Oh. My, my apologies. I was like, I don't think I get to save against grapple. <laughs> Not today. Constitution? Yep, constitution save. Okay, yeah, you're definitely what out. A man, what a Unfortunately, man, what it's a... the at the at the end of your turn, but you are no longer paralyzed. Um, is there anything you can do? Does it say you can't take? Well, it says you can take action. No. no I think a save is usually at the end of the turn. It. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, well, Reinhold, you are no longer uh paralyzed, which is good. Uh, well, it might, means... have, might have to use a little bit of elbow grease to get back in the fight, but hey, at least not every attack against you is a crit. So. Um, all right. This spider is not happy that it got fucking destroyed like that. Um, 15 feet. Ah, it's going to target Crane. That'll be really big. Okay. 15 misses. That's rude. Uh, okay. Well, with the second attack, it will... Oh, well, sorry. I just got to attack you while you're not here. I'm going to reach down and pop it. Nope. It's an after two. All right. Next, Spider. Uh, yeah, it'll get over here. Uh, it'll target you, Riven. It'll do... Uh... Oh, let's see. Actually, no. My mistake. It's going to go over here and be 10 feet up and target you with one poison needle attack. Okay. Oh, with a two. That'll miss. And then... So I want to do another. Yeah, because it doesn't like a beep getting into the space. Ooh, 16. Or uh, 21 all right. for total. Uh, okay, so this damage will roll as is. And then go ahead and make that con save for me in the chat. I uh, I will deflect missiles again. Deflect missiles. All right. Uh, there. Nope. That's. I'm just gonna roll the d10 plus 14. That's all right. I understand. Might be something we can automate. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'll just kind of. Uh, deflect this one. I don't. I'm not gonna catch it and throw it. Okay. Uh, and then let's see what else. What else can I have to do? All right. Uh, Zach Vazur, are you back? Oh, get fucked. Scales will uh, stay there. This spider that is very hurt uh, to the south of you, Embra, is going to try and attack you once. That's a natural two. Ain't no thing. Second time. that's uh, That'll hit you, unfortunately. Um, luckily, this one does not do any paralyzing effects. So damage will be 2d6. Oh, that's nothing. Seven points of damage. Um, Sorry about that. No, you're good. Uh, what what do you want to do with your turn? Scales is probably going to stay where he is, I assume. Uh, yeah, stay. Scales will stay over there, and okay. I have this clockwork spider's on the floor in front of me. Yep. 
then I will target him with two swings of the Rainbow's Reward. Okay, first swing will definitely hit. Jesus, that's oh, good damage. there we go. It's freaking max. It's resistant to a couple of them, so it doesn't do the full. Okay, and then one more roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Vizur, because uh, there's a lot going on, but you are very smart, go ahead and give me um, just a perception check, I'll say. Um, you're not sure if it'll help any of your allies, but somehow, as you see this multi-crystalled colored sword striking into this, the um, the crystal that does call it, uh, or stained glass, I suppose, that does uh, psychic damage, this creature is immune to. Makes sense. And the one that does fire damage, it is resistant to. Okay. Uh, Embra, it's resistant to fire. Yeah, the big boys. You're not sure about the small boys. Uh, so yeah, the the bigger creatures. All right, cool. Uh, anything else? Bonus action? Uh, I'll uh, actually I'll have scales move closer to Reinhold right okay. there, and then that'll be it. Alrighty. Uh, this spider thief, bang. Uh, it's not liking you. It's really not liking you. We're getting double so tapped. Does this, does this ability in. recharge? It does not. Failure. So it's just going to target you with two claw attacks. Oh, that don't impress, don't impress me much. much. <laughs> you don't know how much you miss it until it's gone. Is that Pavlov? Is that what's <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> well, that's the whole thing, right? Did Pavlov, when he heard a church bell, think, huh, I need to feed my dog? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All I know is I see a red one. I, I think that doesn't impress me much. <laughs> You're casting shield, Vizor? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. And so the first level spells were gone. Gone, baby. First right. room, first encounter. <laughs> Let's see if this recharges. It does recharge. Not oh, sure dear. it really matters because you're already grappled. I'm currently grappled. Right? <laughs> yep. Um, Grapple me again, I dare you. Yeah, no kidding. Let's see. I'm slow dancing with a spider. The, sp the spider thief's sickle claw attacks have advantage against a grapple creature. Okay. Oh, I should, I should have been doing that. My fault. Well, I know. Don't now. like that. Yeah, that that impresses me just Still in a bad same. way. <laughs> oh, huge oh, fan. Oh my nice. god, thank you. Whoo! Oh, that's not good. Oh. Well, you challenged a monk to a fist hey, fight. Part two, sickle claw boogaloo. Okay, that one will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we fuck around. We find out. Oh Ooh, god, that's so starting well. to tally up. Yeah, I'm not doing hot. That one did has I, advantage. Did I not? Right yeah. Did I not do that? Well, oh. Oh, fuck. All right. You hear whispers on the wind saying, deflect this, motherfucker. That's just, <coughs> that's a DM off in the distance. Yeah, the DM being mad I used my class yeah. feature a single time. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> wow. At the bottom of the round, uh, two more uh, boys enter the battlefield. God. We were doing just fine with what was on the battlefield. I don't want to hear <laughs> yeah, that, Skippy. Real. All right, Embra, <laughs> you're up. So the uh, the big boys are resistant to fire. The the little clockwork boys have not changed a bit. It seems. Embra, kill it. Ooh. Did she step away again? I don't think so. No, she here. I was eating Cheetos, so I didn't want it to be like Ooh, I love crunchy. That. Heard. So yeah, these big boys are resistant to fire. After uh, a visitor called it out, the little ones are not necessarily resistant to anything that you can tell. All right. So this tiny one that's underneath me. Yes. I'm gonna stab it. Okay. Do it up. Flamble day. Do I just click it again, or is it going to Yeah, so it? you can click Flame Blade and then just choose not to cast it, because you can still, like, roll the attack and damage and stuff like that. It's it, like it's... It, you can uncheck Consume Resource or whatever the hell it is. Um, okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. Click. Love it. Ooh, 17. That'll hit. And even with that little damage, it is down. <laughs> So that was uh, that was very much that spider's last uh, legs that it was standing on. 
Uh, you still have one to the north of you and a couple that are like 10 feet above on the perimeter that you can see. And you can sense a couple over here with your tremor sense. You can sense me there too. That is true. So, Dragon's Breath, it looks like that's a bonus action. Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Okay, can they use that on the one that is right above me here? Uh, um, yeah, so it'll cast it out in a cone, so it might hit Vizur, but that might be a, a price he's willing to pay, because he does not look hurt at all. Also, uh, remember, that's also a concentration spell. Uh, so if, if you do that, you'd get rid of the flame blade. Yeah. I see. You can quicken any of your spells for two sorcery points. That is true. Remind me... How did you got one more time? So, effectively, I want to see if it's actually set up to spend sorcery points. It's in features. Item uses, I don't know sorcery it... points. It's spent, it says two for quickened, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, if you do, if you roll quickened spell, it should spend two of your sorcery points automatically. Uh,. And then, yeah, yep, it went from eight to six. Cool. Um, so now you can cast any spell that has a cost of one action as a bonus action. All right. Um, oh, where did that? This little boy in front of me is fire resistant. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> and then that one's also been hit a good couple of times by Vizor. That is true. Can yeah. I shock and grasp it? I'll allow it. Hell yeah. Yep, go ahead and target it and give me a good shock and grasp roll. And uh, I think it's technically wearing metal armor. Metal. So. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, does that hit? It does hit. So that would be, let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Justine, if that rolled a natural 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, you do nine points of lightning damage towards that uh, spider, and you see the gear sort of rattle with electricity as you sort of course your hands through it. Nice. Fucking awesome. Cool. Great turn. Anything else? Nope. I love that. All right. Crane is, uh, Crane wants to get a, a crane's eye view. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he will use his uh, whatever flight thing is called. Uh, is that writhing tide? Yeah. Bonus action. You can gain a flying speed of 10 feet or hover. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah. He's going to try and pick up. He's going to try and pick off that one in the back. We'll do a sharpshooter. Healing himself. Oh, there we go. Oh. And That's then because the the half orc ability gains another weapon damage. That's thirty points. That fucker's dead. You want to? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's incredible. I'm that the is... best ranger. Oh, 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 come on. We probably oh, know that Crane would be saying something about like, take that, Riven. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Sh yeah, Crane should have targeted you. Let me heal this spider. No, well, hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know if I can deflect all that damage. <laughs> no one man should have all that damage. All right, uh, Riven, you are up. I will continue my assault into this spider. What about Pepper? Scandalous. So that's okay. nine. Yep, nine will hit. Oh, my God, I need this thing to fucking die. The, the Chad monk not choosing to get out of the grapple. I love that. It yep. can't grapple me if it's dead. <laughs> and then I will uh, flurry. McFlurry. Ah, oh, that's a that's a good damage. <sighs> okay. Thank God. Yeah. I will so... use the. Uh, Jump. I'll use the last thing to actually apply a hand of healing to myself. The last thing. The second part of the flurry, I can. Ah, yes. One one attack from flurry, I can substitute for hand of healing. I got you. I got you. But and it does not consume a resource. I love that. Boom. So Seven. Bang. Done. Alrighty. Here you go. 
All right. Uh, and then I'll do oh, that yep. sort of same. Uh, I'll do that same kind of box maneuver just to sort of get over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, all right, Reinhold, you're up. You are no longer paralyzed, and uh, you're hearing a lot, a lot of spider uh, action in the next room. Uh, free four points of healing if you step in that square, I think. I don't think you have to use an action or anything to use it. Let me double check. Um, healing spirit. Oh, yeah, you just have to move through that space. I love that. Oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> no, I understood. So let me heal you for four. There you go. And then this thing has uh, like four uses left. How oh, are all these spiders looking? Uh, <clears throat> uninjured. Uh, uninjured. These two up. Well, actually, give me There's perception. There's a spider check. over there. What? Uh, there is. I think I accidentally moved him uh, invisible. I see. Some, something about a perception check? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, perception check, please. Sorry, I never added him to the normal... Okay. Yep, the spiders are spidering. Don't worry about it. Um. Hmm. So yeah, what you see is what you get, effectively. I'll say this one would be within your line of sight, but it would not have been too Riven. At the moment. Oh. If I use aggressive, could I also try pushing one of the spiders further away to get up on the box? Push them like, further away. Like an action to charge into them mm. and move them. And like also a, bonus action to do aggressive. Kind of like It'd a be charge. like a shove action. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, that falls under like a shove, which would take place of your like actual attack action. It's um, fine. I will you allow go... you to. I mean, you're athletic, right? You got mm -hmm. freaking plus uh, eight, a mm -hmm. passive of 18. I'll allow you to get up here. Let's see. Uh, well. Well, the the uh, goal in mind yeah. was was to actually move the spider, yeah. not just to get up there and attack. Unfortunately, there would not be a way to move it. I'll say with your great sword, though, you're within reach because you're you're six foot something, and your sword is fucking tall as hell. And this guy's up ten feet, but he's within like your reach. Right, but I also have aggressive for thirty four feet of movement. Yeah, I, I, I'll allow you to get there if you would like. Okay, that's fine. Sure. At least All you're right. on like level playing field. I'll slap that one. All on the floor. Okay, yeah, I'll freaking hit. That'll be 14 points of applied damage and some good fire damage against the big boys who are. Uh... Oh, 13 hits these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Jesus H. Yeah, that'll be yeah, that'll be enough to demolish that guy. It's <clears throat> two points in the Ring of Honor. Yep. Or three. Uh, I think I think two. Yeah, but didn't I? Didn't the fight with the um burrowing spiders? Didn't I get a kill on that one? Hmm. I think you might. Have. No, was, was that so. was that yeah. less than twenty four hours ago? It was. It was less. Yeah. Okay. D I have a question about that. Yeah. Is it 24 hours from the first kill or the most recent kill? Oh. I know that seems like I know that seems like an annoying first. distinction, but okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then in that case, I will end my turn. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, this boy up here comes out of the walls or come down comes down from the walls effectively uh reinhold it's going to target you with also these guys are 10 feet up uh it's going to target you with call it a uh poisoned needle shuttle oh jesus come on it's a range attack it's 30 feet range there we go Alrighty. righty a bing 
Why is it rolling at disadvantage? It's not at disadvantage, guys. Uh, regardless, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna reroll that because I don't wanna. I can get like a 19 against you for free. I wanna work for it. Uh, that'll be a modified 19 to hit. Okay, that'll be nine points of damage. Uh, go ahead and make a constitution save, please. We're right back where we started. Okay, you're good, though. Oh, thank God. And then, uh, because it thinks you're of hardier stuff, it's gonna it's gonna just target you with a regular, like, melee attack. Yeah, 12 misses. Okay, uh, next boy was also up here. This one's just going to try and... Actually... How much movement is that? It's 40 feet. What it's going to do is it's going to stay out of uh, melee range. And it's going to try and climb along the wall. And then down so it can attack Crane. Uh, actually, it'll perch on the wall and target Crane with a melee attack. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's how I want it. Alright. Uh, okay, first one. Whoa. Seven misses. And second one. Jeez. These guys are not cash money right now. Okay, the one next to you, Reinhold, on your left, uh, will target you with a regular blade attack. That'll be a 17 to hit. Or 22, rather, modified. That'll be 10 points of damage applied and second trimming blade attack will miss. Okay, Vizur, you are up. A uh, lot of clicking and clacking around you when these gears are rolling and roiling. I'm going to try and stop some of that clicky clack. Clickety clack, you roll to attack. I me. do like when you roll. Jesus. God damn, kid. Max oh. damage thrice. Yeah, that'll, that'll defeat that boy. I'm also going to get rid of some of these bodies. Whoa. Sorry. Ah! I know, I know. My fault. Oh, did I, did I delete you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am inevitable. All right, sorry. Uh, do that, and then you had God a had to 10. Nerf us, sir. Yeah, yeah, 10. All right, give me one second. <laughs> That's fucking funny. I should value and then, 10. And then, boom, back to you. Boom, boom, there boom. There we go. So... <laughs> uh, I already used my w one, one attack. attack yep. So then I'll move this way. Oh, yep. buddy, you're a godsend. And and you want to get there? Uh, yeah. There you go. Cool. And then target that this boy. guy. Love it. With the old attacker room. Oh, god damn. Yeah. Uh, almost said almost. max damage again. <laughs> you didn't do max, that's cringe. And, uh,. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, you know what? I'll have. Yep. You want him up there? Zoom. Oh. oh. Too far. There we go. <laughs> and the scales will be right there oh. to impose a disadvantage. Oh, well, I'm going to yield the. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. And then that'll be my turn. Love that. Boom. Okay. Well, this fucking guy's pissed now. Uh, now let me see this. It is a ranged weapon attack, so it'd be a disadvantage against you. Um, does it want to do that? Yeah. yeah, it'll try one ranged attack at disadvantage. Ugh, yikes, yucky, ew. And then just regular. God damn, ain't no thing for these guys. Uh, all right. Uh, razor line attack against you, uh, Riven. Uh, nope. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, one. Oh, ugh, ew. These guys suck. All right, Embra, new round. Back up to you. All righty. So, so why do you want to take a dip in this little healing cube without getting attacked at this point? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, because I'd say these guys don't have really super long reach. So if you want to get here, you just get four hit points back. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, okay. then I was going to get back. Yeah. yeah, so really it only costs you like 10 feet of movement and then 15, 20 to get back there. And then uh, what would you like to do? There's 
a couple elevated creatures that you can see. One was up there shooting at Crane, and two were up here sort of engaged with Reinhold, and then you sense another two on your left behind some boxes. Um, I guess when I go in the little cube, I'll stay there and I'll hit this one that's over here. Okay, fair enough. So here, I'm just going to move it so you can target it and fire as you as you choose. Uh, and yeah. are you doing just a, a fire bolt against these boys? Because um, remember, the, the, the small boys are not uh, uh, immune or resistant to anything that you can tell. They're not all... just... Yeah. Do I still have my flame blade out? Yeah, yeah, it lasts for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, however, they are 15 feet up. Yeah, this guy, sorry if you can't see, this guy has a 15-foot elevation, oh, so he's sort of cradling against the wall and shooting range attacks at Crane. I see. I but still then... within range of, yeah, Firebolt or whatever other spell you prefer. Okay. Now I'll move back here, and then I will Firebolt. Okay. Make sure to target the one you so choose, and let fly. That's what I want to do. Like the thing. There we go. Yeah. God damn. Even with like that plus your flat five for the elemental affinity, you're doing great fireball damage. Like this shit's cantrip. You can do this all day. All right. Anything with your bonus action or the rest of your movement? Because really, you've only used like 15, 20 feet. So I can sense things like over here. But nothing yeah. else over here. Yep. You don't sense anything behind the walls you just came from. I guess I'll move back to my little spot here then. Okay. That's about it. Alright. I love that. Uh, let's see. Crane can hover 10 feet. God, I love that depending on who is where in elevation, like these walls block. Cool. All right. Uh, sorry. Ryan Hall, I should be putting you 10 feet up, by the way. There you go. Now you can see everything. Uh, crane. Just do regular fire at that, at that boy. Oh, good thing, too. Uh, that, just a regular D6 for squirrels. We're not casting Hunter's Mark at all. And we'll do a second one. Oh, Crane, you're disgusting. 24 points of damage. Is this one? You hear the clanking, clattering of gears and spindle and thread, and all these little metal components fall to the floor behind you guys. Uh, as you think it's Scales tripping over himself for a moment until you realize it's a spider. Uh, falling to its so when things die, are they actually bleeding, or is that just like no? It's probably like an oil die. mixture that comes out, right? Like some like a like a lubricant to make sure the gears function properly. So um, have a smell. Yeah, maybe faintly, maybe like a almost like a latex or rubber smell, like a melty like latex or something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, if I was a better DM, I'd say that when they died, they'd impose like difficult terrain, but I didn't think of that until now. So uh, I'm going to just say it's Riven's turn, and we'll get on with it. Alrighty. Um, Alright, now my allies are here. I like that. Um... <laughs> Remember, I can delete them literally at any time. <laughs> I see. Also, I don't know why it keeps reverting this, but Vizuri should be seeing your color now. I'm going to I'm going to target this spider that Vizor is currently fighting. Okay. I'm going to whack it. I'm gonna wreck it. God damn. Yeah, that one's dead ass. Alright. Boom. Uh, uh and then uh, let's see. I got more attacks. So I might as well use them. Um. That's the idea. And then okay. one more. Yeah. Also, why did we not bring anybody else inside? Uh, just because what... I don't want to rebalance encounters for another three, like, ninth level characters or whatever. And on top of that, I'm going to let you use the resources. Like, you can call on Col Colette to say, like, hey, we need some healing so you guys don't expend your stuff. 
but it's just too much of a hassle to control them while you guys like are. Bunch. Yeah, I mean they're they're like pulling their weight outside, right? Like they're helping out and keeping the peace and doing all that. But and then I will do the whole shuffle and be done here. Okay. So my allies can get in for melee. The ribbon shuffle. All right, Reinhold, you're back up. Uh, I hit yeah. spider. You hit the spider. I hit the spider. All right. Yeah, that does hit the spider. And I Ooh, think that's cool. Right. Yeah. Right. And then fire damage. So if I apply this, why? Oh yeah, because it's a small voice. Okay. Cool. That was one attack. Beautiful. Almost dead. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Oh yeah. How much absolute murder you do, Rhino? Yeah, you should that's, pick up that's... a great weapon master. Mm. So okay. that would be five <laughs> points in the ring of four points in the ring of honor. Yep. But I need five. I think you need ten. Oh my god. We have time. We do. It can hold up to five charges. Oh, it can hold up to five? Yep. Oh, I thought it was 10. My apologies. No, oh, you're good. What happens when you fill it up again? I get... You turn, like, uh, Super Saiyan you, Yeah, you can effectively expend all charges to gain, um, like, like a Blade Song equivalent, but, like, just a flat bonus to AC, flat bonus to attack and damage, temp hit points at the start of your turns, immune to a frightened condition. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's no, definitely... A turn. Just, cool. Yeah, it's definitely designed for like a um, you know, when you're a fighter or paladin or whatever, your martial guy or whoever is starting to feel themselves, they be become a bit more heroic. So, um, all right, let's see. Oh goodness, you know what? These fuckers are dexterous, and I'm gonna say somehow it gets out of your range without provoking, just so it can make uh, a. Attack, a ranged attack. 23 to hit. And then go ahead and make me the con save, please. Yeah, you're fucking fine. Cool. Alright, so that'll just be normal 7 damage applied, and then I'll go back for just a regular uh, blade strike against you. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that'll miss. Okay. Uh, Vizur, you're up. Alrighty. Then I'm gonna head down to this one right here. Excellent. Give me a little target and a couple yep, swing yep. swings. Yep. Because there's real voice, by the way. <gasps> oh! I hate it. I love it. Ironically enough, that's like less than what you've been yeah. doing. Oh. <laughs> I love huh. it. Look what you need to do to mimic a fraction of your own <laughs> power. <laughs> Watch, God this damn. will give more damage. It is. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it's, it's the same, the same. yeah. Fuck, that's awesome. Okay, cool. And then, uh, can scales reach him from around this corner to do an attack or not? Uh, I'll say if you get out of there, yes. But I mean, does that provoke or no? I'll say no, just because I'm cool like that. Because he, he gave the spider one, we get one. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Yes. Oh, he's eating good tonight, boys. Yes. Spiders oh, back on the menu. Oh fuck! I forgot to do a martial check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Like that has been mattered. All right, Ember, you are up. There is only one enemy, it seems, remaining, and it's ten foot up on those boxes. Uh, what must you do? Oh Murder him. <laughs> Ryan hold though. Am I able to climb boxes? Yeah, I'll let you get there and I'll put you ten feet up. Ooh, I can see everything now. Damn skippy. More stairs. Uh I will then You can see stairs? Yeah, she sees a little red ladder icon all the way up north. What? Yeah. That's how you yeah. I am going to reach across Reinhold, stab little spider boy. Stab boy. Kill him. Tarje. Ooh, do do flame blade. 
click, wrong click. All good. Um, hmm. I probably could set up a flame blade like item too. It says you're already concentrating on flame blade and concentration continue. Uh, as long as you don't consume the resource or whatever it's called, it it'll be fine. It doesn't give me an option to do that. It just says yes or no. no. Uh, here. No. I'm, I'm gonna call an audible on the fly. I'm gonna add an item. I'm gonna have it well equipped, I suppose. I'm gonna call it Flame Blade. I wonder what it does. Give me, <laughs> give me two sec. It'll take me two seconds to set this up. I just gotta find a good, uh, uh, like image for it. Icons, magic, fire. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then it is, uh, well, we'll just call it a simple melee weapon. I think it's a complex melee weapon. That's fair. It's a cylinder of fire that you hit people with. <laughs> it's like so, a bat made out of fire. Like, So you I mean, target <laughs> one creature within five feet. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a melee weapon attack. And it uses your charisma. And it does, what, 3d6 fire damage, I believe? Yep. Uh, it does... It doesn't the, tell me. In the profile, do you want to just add the five? Oh, I guess, yeah, she will always have elemental affinity, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's 3d6. A 3D6 fire damage. Yeah. Plus five. Okay, so 3d6, and then let me just find a cool icon for this. I Magic. love the fire sword duo up there, by the way. Fire select fire, yeah. Okay, so you should have an item equipped called Flame Blade. Go ahead and it's targeted, and then just try and, in your inventory, just hit uh, Flame Blade. It should be set up as a weapon. All right, so click. Yep, and it should be. Oh, oh my Christ. God. Oh, that's so cool. That's exactly what you needed. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh. I guess okay. I'll try this. <laughs> All right, combat is Ovar. That is awesome. Uh, I will take a jaunt over to this healing aura. Guys, I'm so proud. Okay, so you get a flat uh, four healing that I will apply. Boom. And there's two uses left of this healing aura that Riven is in. I'll, I'm also going to get yet. you guys back down here. How badly injured is everyone? I am about half injured. <laughs> Uh, same. I'm the best. I'm big the job. best. <laughs> I see Vizur over there with a big ol' uninjured symbol over mm -hmm. there. Plus temporary hit points. He's untouchable. Scales He's really huffs and low. puffs at you, Vizur, as you took away some of his life force somehow. <laughs> hey, buddy, He's like, I'm uh, uh, oh, uh, by you the know, way, you uh, don't even get a save. Sorry, one sec. You don't even get a save, Vizur. He's gonna heal himself. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Go go on, Riven. We love our boy. Um. So what? There's two uses left. Two uh, uses left here. Yep. Reinhold, how badly are you injured? I'm fine. Oh, okay. Uh, one use for Ember and one use for myself. Sure. All right. So I will heal Ember for plus four, and then Riven, you're getting another plus four, and then this spell goes away. Cool. So we both. We we one, going... one more time, sorry. I was just saying, the question is, are we going down the stairs or are we taking the door? Uh, We already went through this door. No. Oh, there's door. another door there. I didn't see that. Shame. Oh. Uh, One thing I will say, um, hey, Vizur. Yes? Uh, this is uh, other technological things, like some of the stuff we saw in the archives, right? Um, yes. <laughs> You want us to try and collect some of this for you? Uh, I'm not yet. There's still much to see. Before we leave, I plan on collecting samples and seeing if how it's made. I guess. I admit we weren't too gentle with its deconstruction. Ah, deconstructing things is the best way to figure out how they work. Boy, oh, the they one... not smell. 
I kind of think about the spider over here that I just punched repeatedly until it was scrap. I deconstruct <laughs> pies like all the time with my mouth and stomach, and Vizur is absolutely right. I know exactly how they work when I'm done with them. Crank it. Um, <laughs> yep. So, so Ember saw a set of stairs, and there's also a door. Do we have a particular inkling towards either? Maybe take the door since it's still on this level. Do you before wanna... going down. Ryan, you're sort of thinking you're of smart. Give me an investigation check. Essentially, it's a martial check. Who? Sorry. Reinhold. Forced, forcing Reinhold. Because he's a, a tactician. Check. That's okay. Uh, well, you know what? You're fine with either plan, I suppose. But one thing you might suggest is having like Colette heal you guys or something. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I'd like to active uh, use the uh, call support button. Got you. Uh, I would require. I would like some healing. Would you like? Okay. Would you like uh, Colette or the other clerical boy uh, that was with the trading caravan? He will uh, heal you, but his healing is a bit more powerful, and that means it'll cost you a little bit. Uh, I'll take one from Colette for now. Okay. Let me drop. <laughs> let me drop Colette here. Ah, hello, Colette. Hello. Hello there. Um. All right. Let's see. She's got first, second, third, fourth, uh, and that's it. Uh, spells available. She's out of her fifth. Um, but she's got, uh, let's see, mass healing word. She's got cure wounds. She's got healing word, I think. Uh, actually, no, I didn't give her healing word because she had mass. I'll just, uh, uh, maybe a third cure? Third cure wounds coming right up. All right. Uh, third cure wounds. Boom. Up cast. Bang. Okay. That'll be 15 points. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, anybody else? Yeah, I'll be fine with that. Let's get some heals. Let's see. Embra, do you want... Uh, what spell level do you want if you want heals from Colette? What she got left? Uh, she's got first, second, third, and fourth left. I'll take third. Third? Perfect. Hey, same. So we'll do a third cure wounds. And okay. something a little advanced, but not oh. anything crazy. Uh, about the same. 13. And then, uh, Reinhold, do you want some free healing from Colette? Sure, I'll take a fourth. Yep, good man, good man. What a man. So let's do, we'll call it. Cure wounds, Just add a fourth. Watch her roll like eights, sevens and shit. Well, that's not bad. I see literally rolls eights and a seven. So Colette has um, first levels left, all her second levels. She's got one third level and two fourth levels left. Okay. Uh, I am fine. I am a little bit over three fourths, so I think I'm settled with what I've got. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to a second level. Second level? How much health do you have? 115. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry? 115. You heard him. That's oh. like 315. I was going to be like, wait a minute. I'm um, like, why do we fight anything? <laughs> Reinhold, you've got it. You're, you've got it. <laughs> he is him. Okay. Wow. Uh, okay. So with that in mind, then um, I suppose should we try to do a sweep of the floors before we head down? Yeah, to the Probably door. Yeah, search everything. Make sure we don't miss anything useful. Okay, well, it's going to disappear. Indeed. Uh, I thank Colette before she leaves. That's why I'm here. It's I like least, how I like at the end that she just has a notebook yeah. over like how many heals we owe her for. <laughs> We were under the impression that they were free. They were mm. not. Uh, All right. This door oh. is open. Oh, I don't know what that is, uh, guys. You, get, you guys get so scared at every little lighting effect and, and, and all oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand over here, Drew. Oh, oh you want some more lighting effects? Oh, boom, no, boom. no, no, no. 
I'm, <laughs> things are moving. You're, un you're unironically making me more intimidated to go in this room, True. Oh, okay. I call for Reinhold. He needs to go in first. I'm scared when a car horn goes off too like close to me. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. Like, I think a car is about to hit. But anyway. Nice. <laughs> I'm with All you, right. but, but like a little behind you. E no, e uh. All what? right. And more stairs. Mm -hmm. Uh, so those go up. Uh, the other yep. ones yep. that you saw, you said go down. Yeah, green yeah. goes up, red goes down, effectively. Let's explore uh, the room. This is interesting looking. Do uh do either Embra or Vizur happen to know what this is? I can roll for it. I don't know how well I'll do. Uh, mm. <laughs> can uh, I roll our combo? Yeah, please do. Oh. Oh. Eh, your bonus is good. Okay, as it stands right now, this seems to be like a portable... Um, teleporter that while it still has arcane energy the portals that are sort of flickering with like these lights right um are just sort of dormant right now as if they need to be activated by maybe someone who put this enchantment here oh. um the one thing you don't necessarily like about this is that you think that maybe perhaps these portals were frayed and I'm, I'm gonna move you a little bit Embra. um the reason you think that is typically the elements of like uh I'll call it the climate of <laughs> where your portal is set does not seep through the other side of the portal as you can see there is some weird growing like trees and roots and whatnot coming out of all these like now dormant portal doors so you're not sure way where they were going or where they're from but for some reason these portals uh, are not just a doorway they actually allowed things to like grow through them huh i want to check the desk check the desk okay um Part of what you find is just going to be uh, among the um, items at the very end of the dungeon, so to speak. So you find some gems and whatnot. Actually, in particular, you find one um, pretty large ruby. Um, if you had to guess, you think maybe at least a thousand gold pieces worth of gem. no notes or anything like that there is some notes in fact the i'd say the one that you're sort of pondering the most is i guess less of a note but more of like um a mundane thing there is an hourglass that you find that's spilled uh, excuse me filled with sparkling sand um almost like uh almost like how they depict like spice and dune how it's like this weird uh glittery sand like uh, upon the upon the rise um and you're not sure exactly what it means but something just sort of tinges and tells you that it is uh somewhat magical might not be a magical item but it has like magical properties might be an ingredient of some sorts perhaps um and yeah i'll say you find uh, a recipe mm -hmm. what um, or let me find that recipe, actually. Glitter sand. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. What would be cool? So I'll be right back again. Sure, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, this will this will fit well. Um, I'm going to. Can I just edit permissions? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, I can. So, Darren, um, in your crafting recipes, you should have a recipe for a rare potion. Um, Ooh. You can access that either through the header of your character sheet, I think. I found it. 
Okay. Um, and you're, are you just seeing one rare potion? You're not seeing like the whole yes. folder? Okay. Yes, yes, Thank yes. Thank God, because I can always see them all with the uh, GM user. I'm like, I don't know if this ever works. I wonder where this all teleports to. My Google Chrome just crapped on me, so I'm on my way back in. <laughs> understood, understood. You got too close to the teleporter. Come on. <laughs> Ran out of dedicated wham. I don't like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Waiting. I'm just kind of looking around, kind of like... I'm not great at math, but I'm kind of just taking a second. So if that circular center is where, uh, theoretically, like the like the stairs would be, where would those stairs take us if they go up? Well, why don't we take them and find out? I don't want. Well, I don't want to end up in the swirling darkness room. Bitch. You can see like through the stairs, like if you look at a set of stairs you can see what's above it. You don't see yeah. any magical floating darkness. Right. Hmm. Might be a kitchen. Could be. Uh, I can give it a quick look and report back. I can <laughs> yep, run, Just try not run. to wander too far. Yeah. I look at Crane, I'm like, there might be some pie up there. Oh. Oh. I kind of oh. want to do that. How's it looking? Yeah, it just, just seems to be another room. Well, what's in that room? Uh, like a nice carpet. Uh, a little waiting Sorry. area. I'll, I'll kind of come back. Now. Yeah, he's saying this down the stairs. Uh, it's a nice carpet. There's like a waiting room. Um, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, terribly... Oh, hi, Amber. Hello. So, so are you guys heading up and saving this uh, room for later, perhaps? Ah, I see. It does it does kind of lead into the room of death and darkness. Let's check well, out the room of death and darkness. I, I don't think that's a good idea, Embra. <laughs> I just want to see. Embra, I don't think it's a good idea. Her path well, also leads down, not up. <laughs> What's wrong with the room of death and darkness? Facts. It's in the name. Well, we gave it that name. Yeah, you guys called it that. For... It might not actually be a terrifying room. I'm gonna go near if she's actually... Uh, so, Vazur and Reinhold, you see your friends continuing up into that room as you lose sight of them <laughs> from the bottom of the stairs. So it seems they're deciding where they want to go. Well, let us follow them. I'm more just trying to stop Ambra. You can't stop me. Ah, uh, no, don't. I don't like how I heard the door sound after I looked away. Uh, oh, it seems... Is it locked? It is. Okay, good. Alright, never mind. Time Look. to go get the Zor. Well, actually, oh. I could give it a try. I, I have, have thieves tools. Yeah, you have thieves Denver. tools. In fact, the item that you picked up to start that other combat uh, inadvertently was thieves tools. So, go ahead and roll me a sleight of hand check. Denver, no. Plus your thieves tools proficiency. So just roll a d20 or a sleight of hand. You have proficiency then... in thieves tools? Oh, wait. She might not. No, just oh, roll a sleight of hand. I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry. My fault. Just roll a sleight of hand, please. Uh, only a six will not do it. All right. Good. All right. Uh, it's your turn. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it to this scene. Uh, Reinhold, are you going to be coming up here? Uh... No. You sure? Okay. No, okay. I will not. So here, let me let me get you back to this. Reinhold decides uh, to let us die on our own accord. I mean, it's reasonable. Just based on um, you know, what the layout of this place. We know that this is the um the the room with the spinning crazy bullshit, right? So maybe we don't really have to go this way. I, well, yeah, everything I cannot else you thought was scary wasn't actually scary. I tried to open the door and it like opened, oh. like whipped into my face. Well, that was the other door. This is the other door. Embra, I cannot recommend this. 
Well, you don't have to recommend it. Well, I'll unlock it and then go back downstairs. <laughs> okay, a 21. Okay, that will unlock it. Alright. Okay, bye bye. Embra. Yeah, Embra, do you feel <laughs> called to this room? I don't know, kinda. I want to open it. Okay. You feel what would I call this? Give me, give me a moment to think of how to describe this. Um, oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> well, I don't. I, I'm not gonna say you feel like compelled. Um, but when you sort of walk through that sort of dusky gray, smoky stuff that was coming out of the door, um, <laughs> you sort of noticed it as like almost fuel that is similar to your abilities in a certain sense. Huh. It's like you, you find a kinship with it somehow. Um, maybe it's not so much as like a bloodline sort of, you know, magic, but um, it just feels sort of adjacent to what you do somehow. And you're not quite sure how to describe it. I see. Yeah. Uh, Reinhold, is there anything you want to discuss with Crane while you are uh, still at the, like the portal room? Mm, not that I can think of. Okay. Are you finding anything interesting down there, or would you like to uh, research a little bit more? Uh, if there's like uh, anything, like if the symbols on that uh, circle in the middle have any kind of discernible meaning. Um, roll me a history check. That I believe I can do. And Temmie, I see your hand hovering over that button. <laughs> 25. 25. Nice. Okay. Uh, with a 25, and this is probably, you know, as much as it is your knowledge, it's also recently when you guys were at the um, the sort of Archmage's retreat, right? The Shroud Spire. Mm -hmm. uh, and sort of going over like briefs, so to speak, and research of the locations that each group was traveling to. Um, a lot of the runes that you see seem somewhat druidic in nature. That's what I thought. Um, and they tend to, I mean, you don't necessarily know the language, so to speak, um, but you're thinking it might have something to do with, could be the Guardian Glade, could be um, some sort of other primal magic or other druidic sites across the lands, you're, you're not sure. Uh, but you, you definitely gain a druidic sense about it, and you just don't know how the puzzle piece fits in yet. Uh, any, uh... Oh, there's a wall there. Um, <laughs> uh, the teleport... The, the portals themselves, the actual, like... Uh, shells of them being yeah. the only thing that's left. Anything on there? Um, any inscriptions? Um, hmm. Not necessarily inscriptions that you can understand. You do see, yes, some markings that might indicate uh, a bit of information about the druidic nature of them. Um, but you sense a bit of a chill when you get to that northernmost portal one. And I'm willing to bet if I go down to this one, mm -hmm. it's gonna smell like autumn leaves. Uh, yeah. What a master detective. And I bet if I go down to this one, mm -hmm. it's gonna smell or be warm like mm -hmm. a spring or a summer. It smells like Red Bull. <laughs> Fresh cut grass, yeah, absolutely. Uh huh. Uh huh. And you think that because there's not one here, <laughs> that this is like the one for like you know, probably spring. Probably. Um, Any um. Yeah. Go ahead. On the on the bottom of this center portion here, mm -hmm. does this look mechanical? Uh yeah, I'll actually bleep bleep out the lights for a moment. You see how there's like um effectively like swimming stuff going around in there yeah um it's also sitting on like a, a bed of like uh, branches and, and whatnot but yes mm. beneath all of that it does seem mechanical 
And if I were to just say run like a an approximation of what those mechanisms would do, is it something like twisting this circle around or moving the room or walls or what? Uh, potentially. You actually think that the architecture for it might um, might be out of sight in the sense that this sort of anchor is triggered through the stonework of the building itself. I see. Can, can I just ask, what do you think that means as Reinhold slash Darren? Reinhold slash Darren thinks that there's a separate portion that determines when and how the the portals change either mechanically or magically or how how have you but something about that center part changes which either changes the portals or changes the room and something else determine what causes something else determines what causes that change you're yeah, you're not far off Okay. I will give you a little write-up after the session, maybe not tonight, but um, it, definitely by the next time we play, and explain what more you find out with that 25 uh, history and all your okay. investigation. Okay. Uh, uh, and if you that, want, yeah, if you want to make your way upwards, uh, feel free. I, I will do so for the sake of simplicity for the viewers. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get Crane up there as well. Awesome. But I, I'd also like to make it stated that uh, I think it's mm -hmm. a very terrible idea to go into that room. Thank you. Okay, well, I need to go in there. So you guys can stay out here if you want to. So. I, gosh. It feels nice to me. I want to go in. That's how, like, demons get you. Reinhold, isn't that how demons get you? Uh, no, no, be I more like to. succubi, but, you know, close enough. Maybe. Temptation and all that. Well, then I'm glad I have, like, four strong men to keep me out of trouble. There you go. And scales. <laughs> yeah, Ember, Ember's pulling the, uh, well, I guess it helps that I'm a bad bitch then. Because I'm going in. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Riven, you should take a step back. I'm opening the door. I'm I'm getting ready to, like, yoink you if it starts to pull you in. A yoinky spoinky. <laughs> Alright, open it. So, I'm here. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Um, yeah, when you open it and sort of let go of the handle, the door sort of flies open and, poof, like, crashes against the wall. Um, and, uh... Just hits me in the face. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um... I'm curious, what would Ember do upon sort of seeing that? Also, why is this getting blocked? Hold on, give me one second. Oh, maybe, maybe it isn't. Here, I want a little bit more. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted oh, to get all the that back. wasn't supposed to be from scales. I didn't have either <laughs> one of them clicked, but for some reason it came from scales. <laughs> Yee. I'm a fan. Sorry, I didn't hear the thingy go off. I didn't notice the chat. <laughs> oh, you're fine, you're fine. Um, Ember, how do you react to uh, this sort of opening in this way, I suppose? I don't know how to phrase it. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably just look at it. Looks like the circle got bigger. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was just me adjusting because I actually wanted to reach like the corner of the room a little bit ah, like gotcha. further. Yeah, because it is sort of all enveloping. Do I still get the same kind of, like, feeling now that the door is open? A little bit. I mean, you do get a, a bit of, like, uneasiness because, you know, it is kind of nerve-wracking to see something like this. Um, but you're not necessarily deterred, I would say. Uh, in fact, let me think about this for a second. I'm still trying to find a... a a better way to sort of word how to verbalize your um, like connection with this. And the the one I keep coming back to is just like you feel a kinship with whatever is in this room, 
that is similar to powers you have. Not like not like racial, like not like Ganassi, but not necessarily like sorceress powers either. Is it my dragon heritage? Um No, that that'd be the sorceress stuff. That's yeah, okay. yeah, not not sorceress uh yeah, not sorceress like as far as like an origin goes, but perhaps what gives you your power, like what you call upon to use it. Um and huh. If you stay, if you stand in that doorway, um, you hear, you'd hear a voice come to your, like, well, not come to your mind, but like emanate from the room. Uh, and it'll say, um, child, you can approach. I want to look upon you further. You look to have a wonderful smile. I don't like that, but it sounds welcome. <laughs> Ember is going to take one step towards her room. Okay. Ember. You Hi. see <laughs> wow. uh, if you step in here, you see the mist in the room start to dissipate a little bit as you walk in. Um and how would I say this? I don't want to give it away because I don't want you to necessarily see any like art or anything yet. But there is a creature at this sort of head table that um, sort of bows to you. And I just don't want to oh. trigger like your tremor sense or anything or necessarily have you see the token art just yet. That's fair. And I'm just like, hello. Uh. Yes, I'll pop my head over the guys. There's a person in here. What do you mean a person? There's a person in here. They're sitting at the table. You don't, I can cut. you don't look like the woman that I know. Do you, call this, do you call this place your home? This building? Yes. No. No, not this building. Hmm. Do you call this place your home? I occupy, yes. I would like to have you for dinner. Would you mind a bite to eat? Does that mean you're going to eat me, or that you're offering food to eat with me? <laughs> Aren't you clever? I try. You don't seem to be anything to scoff at. Um, you see the creature sort of um, like lick its lips. Oh, my mom's gonna eat. <laughs> it didn't say it wouldn't eat you. I know it didn't. That's why I didn't move. <laughs> I say, well, I appreciate if you didn't mm. eat me. She has a friend. Oh, no. It's me. I, I just moved into sight. Oh, why you do that? Uh, because you've been talking to a void. Oh, you do that all the time. What? No. All of you do, in fact. You all have voices in your head. I'm like the only one that doesn't. It looks like you've joined us in that department. Oh, your friend sort of puts me off. Oh. oh. Wow. Well, Can I hear this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hear it. <laughs> Oh, well, then he's really not going to like me. Like, wow, that's kind of rude. But I can... oh, get out of the way, then. I just like your temperament so much more, fiery woman. Thank you. Our ideals seem to align. <laughs> I like that. Hey, Drew. Can you, yes. Uh... Can I detect evil and good? Can you and I switch places so you can try to divine sense this thing? Or that. <laughs> Yeah, we could do that. Let's yeah, yeah, swap. you've had plenty of time to like maneuver and yeah. Detect yeah, it. yeah can put, I do, it, put uh, it in the chat, King. Uh, let me do King. divine sense. He's like, oh, I really like your bud. <laughs> okay, uh, sixty feet, and it is one. hollow spell, and then uh, what is it? Fucking all the other shit. Uh, good and evil, celestial fiend, undead. 
Give me a sec. Is it is it Count Stroud? <laughs> it's not Count Stroud. One day, if it was, <laughs> I'd be running and head first. Is it the sixty room. feet? Yeah, I don't yes, like it is sixty that feet. Head. Okay. <laughs> um, you get. Hold on. L let me cook. Let me cook. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> John cook. Uh. You get seven instances of undead. Seven. Ooh, instances. <clears throat> Embra, perhaps I should stand in front. I don't know if he'll like you. I know. Do you like my other friend? <laughs> oh, gods. Black gods. Why? Why always? Interruptions. Uh, I need you all Doesn't to roll initiative. Oh no! Look Embra. what you guys did. Just trying to steal your freaking soul, lady. Embra, this is your fault. Uh, I was doing just fine until you showed your face and he said you oh, were going to get Strahd. eaten. If it was Strahd, I would be fine with that. But it's not Strahd. Worse. I gotta roll again. Why are my maximum hit points lower than they were before? Maximum hit points are lower than they were. They shouldn't be lower. Expect that I have no clue. It said it was 70, and now it says it's 64. Whatever do you say. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll check for Shirley. If 70 hit points is a sorcerer? And that's what it said, like, 20 minutes ago. It might have. Um, I could have also fucked something. Let's see. I don't like that. <laughs> I, 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 I understand. Was my I'm blade still to be ignited? Yeah, oh. within 10 minutes, yeah. Okay. Before um, Colette healed, it said I was at like 51 out of 70. Now it says I'm at 64 out of 64. I am showing... It, I think 64 is correct, because that's what I'm showing on D&D Beyond. Um... So I think I maybe fucked something. Okay. Um, so yeah, 64 is where you're at. Yeah, because Riven's only a little bit above you. Same with, uh, like, I think Vazur and Crane are about the same. And then Rangel just got a shit ton of uh, Constitution. I think you also have, what, Tough, maybe? I can't remember. No, I, mean, I don't think. Maybe I did. Maybe oh, I no, you just have, you have, have to have. No, he's got the... Um... Oh, oh, the... the yep, yep, yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, so my uh, the advantage initiative was a twenty two. Understood. I need Let's you to that. throw that in there. I got you. Okay. I'm gonna let you know, Embra. I'm going to go fight this thing because now it's an issue. What? what? It's not an issue. He didn't do anything. It seems like majorly an issue. It doesn't seem like it's that bad. I don't know why you're getting your britches in a twist. Uh, in a sort of sweeping like whooshing motion and all this sort of light um you see it sort of flash for a moment right and you're not seeing any creatures but all that like food that's on the table disappears and it seems to be it seems to have been illusory uh and you hear that one voice uh call out again children dinner time oh they uh, are gonna eat us <laughs> and that is where we are actually going to end for today i just wanted to get our uh, initiative rolled and going. Hey, at least time. I asked to clarify what he meant by like eating and dinner. Mm -hmm. I am actually very proud of that. Good <laughs> Thank job. you. You did good. 